So you wanna make money online with affiliate marketing? Well, listen up, because in just a few minutes, I'm gonna have a live stream where you can ask questions live and finally, for once, without paying some guru or joining some course, you can get answers live about your questions so that you can make money. And you might be asking, what's this guy doing with all this prop money? I mean, is he some kind of fake guru or something? Well, actually, I got this prop money for fun and to illustrate something very important. You see, this stack right here is the amount of money I've made in profit in just one day. It just so happened to be my most profitable day ever. And this stack right here is what an average day looks like for me here in my online business. And you might be saying, well, Marcus, are these numbers actually possible? And the answer is yes. In fact, some affiliate marketing companies make hundreds of millions of dollars a year or more. You might have heard of these companies, WikiHow, The Honey App, Capital One Shopping, Rakuten. I mean, even Amazon and Walmart have affiliate programs. So yeah, affiliate marketing is a legit business model. And while you see people making hundreds of millions a year and me with my fat stacks up in the club, the fact is, there are tons of people online making money using this simple business model. Only the problem is, everyone complicates it. And that's why the average person trying to make money online makes nothing. However, there are countless people that I've taught who have made lots of money online. Some of them six and seven figure earners. And today, we're gonna get questions from you and talk about what it really takes to make money online as an affiliate marketer. We're gonna cut past the fluff and answer your questions directly. But first, this is gonna be a long training. So you're gonna to wanna to grab a cup of coffee, maybe even a few. There we go. And I gotta tell you, back when I first started trying to make money online and do this whole affiliate marketing thing, there was no one out there that was giving me straight answers and straight advice. And today, I realize what that struggle was like. I realize what it was like to feel alone, like nobody cared about my success, when in actuality, it was very important to me. I mean, I started my business, I didn't have a job, I didn't have money, I didn't know what I was doing. Fast forward a little bit later, then I had a kid on the way and I didn't know how I was gonna support my kid, my car was broke, I didn't have any money in the bank, I was struggling. And no one seemed to give me the answers that I needed to get me where I needed to be. And this was extremely difficult. Have you ever felt like that? Well, today, that's about to change. All you gotta do is smash that like button and stay tuned for this entire webinar because this training, quite simply, has the information you need to start making money online. So let's dive in and get started. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. We are going to get rocking and rolling with your questions. As you can see, I am trying to get the questions that we got from the blog and the questions that we are gonna take live and put them in a nice little file. I'll try to do this as much as I can as we go along. Um, these trainings where we do live Q&A happen to be very long, so sit tight, get ready, and we're gonna answer your questions. And not only that, but I went through and actually asked ChatGPT what the top 100 questions are about affiliate marketing so that we can get kind of an overview of exactly what's going on. This is super important. If you have watched videos about how to make money online and affiliate marketing, drop shipping, everything like that, and you have questions, now is your time to get an answer. That's right, 
You don't got to pay anything. You just come on here, smash the like button, ask your question, and we will try to get them as we go along. So we're going to go through and we are going to take a look at these questions. As you guys take your questions as we go through, I'm going to put them on the board like this, right like this. Here we got this guy named Harsh says that uh, this is a recorded video. Actually, it's not a recorded video because you're watching it live and there is your question right here. See, we're going to put them right here on the board like this. So as we go through, we are going to go and make this happen. Very cool. Now, we want to take a look at this and look at what really we need to do to make money online. We need to take a look at how this stuff works and how you're going to fit in. How are you going to go out there and get some fat stacks so that you too can make money online, okay? Very important. So we're gonna take a look at this. We're gonna answer your questions. We're gonna get down to the nitty gritty of what it actually takes. Cause I know a lot of you guys are watching videos about YouTube automation, side hustles, making money and everything like that. And a lot of people really have trouble with this stuff, right? And as we can see here, we got questions coming in like crazy and we are gonna try to answer all of the questions. We'll put them up as uh, we go along here. So very, very important stuff. Now we're going to take a look at this and we can see this one here. I didn't get a name on this one. It said, hi, Marcus. Nice review. Seen many in the current time. Unlikely I ever make anything in the market for 30 years, made nothing. They just don't like me out there. I just don't want to waste your time and mine. Well, when we look at a question like that, this is something that unfortunately is very common. This is a mindset issue. Now, I know a lot of gurus talk about mindset and law of attraction and all this stuff like that, but your old buddy Marcus looks at it differently. It has nothing to do with how you feel, how you feel about making money online and how you feel about the markets is irrelevant. You can read every book on the law of attraction. You could watch every video. You could listen to manifestation tapes until you're blue in the face. You know what's gonna work in your business is consistent action in the right direction. Can you take consistent action in the right direction? Can you look at what's going on and build and grow consistently, even when you don't feel like it? Sometimes I don't feel like doing live streams or making videos, but I know that things compound and I know that money is out there to be made when we build and compound on things that actually work very, very important. So that would be my answer to that is, hey, you know what? If you feel like giving up on affiliate marketing, go ahead, doesn't matter to me. If you feel like the world's against you, I'm sorry, that's a, that's a state of mind, it's not a fact. And we look at that, we say, okay, what am I going to do to get the results? What am I going to do to get the results I want? And it's all about action. It's not about psychology, it's not about thinking, it's not about feeling, it's not about motivation. It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with doing action whether you feel like it or not. Everyone out there is waiting to feel something so they can take, when I feel better, I will go lose weight. Well, when you lo lose weight, you'll actually feel better. It's the exact opposite. This is something I learned and it's all too personal to me. And I'll tell you a story, personal story. Uh, back in 2014, I had a business for 14 years. I made a lot of money online. Uh, I was miserable. I was absolutely miserable and I thought the world was against me. I read mindset books. I attended seminars. I paid every therapist I could find. I learned NLP. I learned all this stuff and I read countless books. You guys saw them in the backyard office. It's full of books. And when I look at this, it was like, okay, why am I not happy and why Am I an alcoholic that can't live? Like I, I, I couldn't function. I was a functioning alcoholic, it stopped being functioning. Luckily I had a business that was making money, but I tried every, I read every book about how to stop drinking. I read every book about this and that. And you know what I figured out? It had nothing to do with how I felt. Why? Because quite frankly, I felt like drinking, but that's not what's gonna get you sober. What got me sober was consistent action every day. What am I gonna do every day, regardless of how I feel? This is the key to making money, whether it's online, offline, no matter what venture you take, it has nothing to do with law of attraction and feel good stuff. It has to do with what action am I gonna take every day? There are plenty of billionaires that 
don't subscribe to these law of attractions and things like that. They actually go out there and do something every day that's gonna make them money. So that's our first question there. Again, um, it literally has nothing to do with how you feel or your mindset. If you have a terrible mindset and feeling and you blog every day or make a video every day and you base that on data, you will be successful. Plain and simple, you will be. Very important. Now, the next one here we have is, I'm interested, hope it's not gonna take hours long presentation, and at the end there's something to sell. Well, two things here. It might take a couple hours. If, you do, if you're out there and you're looking to make 100 grand a year or $1,000 a week, and you're not willing to sit through a two hour presentation, then you have no business. Like, where do people get off thinking that one three minute video is gonna give them everything they need to make a million dollars? Like, I, I don't know where that exists. Secondly, um, if you watch a video and there is a sales presentation, something I learned early on, because what'll happen is people will get a sales presentation and they'll get mad, when in actuality, that's the exact marketing that you want to learn. So it's not that the sales presentation is bad, it's that you're throwing out the entire information of the training because there's someone trying to make a living with it. So we gotta look at that and understand and be like, hey, wait a minute, we need to flip this on its head. I need to be out there and get information where it's at. So like if I attend a hundred webinars and all of them have a sales pitch, but they give me the info to make money, then who gives a rip, right? Type sales pitch if you're like, yeah, Marcus, I'll listen to you all day long because you got good stuff. Now you might tell me to go get a high ticket niche or join Blog Profit Network or something like that, but I could watch all your free videos and you know, last I checked, we've had about 13 million views on our videos and I don't think I have 13 million customers, but we have to look at this and we have to understand it because there's plenty of people that get lots of info with the free stuff. So you gotta watch out for it because a lot of this is the way you think about the information you're getting. Like I said, back when I was trying to uh, quit drinking, I wouldn't listen to advice from someone I didn't like, but their advice had the stuff in hindsight that could have helped me. Right, he could have, like I was sitting there and I'm like, nope, I'm not gonna listen to that guy. I don't like him. Yet he might've had the answers that I wanted. So it's very interesting and you gotta look at it. And there's even people in business that I can't stand, but there's always something to learn for the person who's willing to learn, always. You can even learn from someone who's talking nonsense if you're willing to. So Pete, you gotta, make, you gotta pay attention to that. Let's get into some of these other questions that are more about the nitty gritty of how this business works, okay? So we're gonna look at this and we have, uh, Chrissy says, I'm always struggling with getting overwhelmed. There are so many different offers and niches that my ADHD goes bananas. I would absolutely love you to go through the simple affiliate setups that are more beginner friendly. Someone, some of the ones I've come across don't accept beginners, on and on we go. Okay, so what we wanna do here, if you are struggling with info overload, type info overload in the box, right? If you're like, I'm, I'm like Chrissy, you know what, I don't know what to do, I don't know where to go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a little secret when it comes to finding niches. One of the secrets I like to use is domain names. I can go over to Spamzilla and I can find domain names every day that actually have something with them, okay? So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for traffic and I'm looking for something that could make money. So here's one called Scooters or Us. I don't know how much it costs, but let's see here. Scooters or Us here, okay? So right now it's at $105, all right? So let's, let's take a look at this one, okay? And we're gonna take a look at what we have here for the Scooters or Us, okay? He might have some good rankings. Let's take a look and maybe, maybe I could go out there and sc sell scooters. Now, I didn't wake up this morning saying, hey, you know what? I think I'd like to sell some scooters. Not at all. What I did is I woke up and said, what are some domains out there that I could use? Let me log in here. And by the way, this is a live training, so bear with me. I might have to log into things to show you stuff. I might have to uh, test some things. But here we have this one, which is about these gas scooters. And here we go. So this one has rankings for scooters. And I could look at this and I could say, well, you know, for $105, I could buy this domain and then I can set a scooter site up. Now, 
pay close attention because what we're going to do here is do things backwards of what the majority of people do. Let's see if we can get this one here. There we go. The majority of people out there are going to go and say, well, I want a niche that looks good because the guru said the niche is good. And they're going to go out there and say, well, you know what? I know that, hey, you know what? The workout niche, all right? Workout niche. And they're like, well, you know, I see that guy with those muscular legs and uh, he's got a business that's worth a lot of money. I should probably go into the workout niche. But they do this without looking at the stuff that's behind it. And what's going to happen is you're going to get info overload and you're going to get shiny object syndrome because then you'll go, well, the workout looks good. And then you'll watch the next guru and he'll say, well, you know what? I think the dating niche niche is good. And what's going to happen is all the while you are choosing these niches based on something other people say rather than choosing these niches based on data. Okay, we want to choose our niches based on data. So if you don't know what you're doing, I would say uh, check out our high ticket niches or go over to the GoDaddy uh, auctions or you can even go to Flippa. And what I want you to do is start getting in the habit of looking at what works. So I ask myself, do I know that scooters sell? Yes, I had a drop shipping site. I sold thousands and thousands of dollars worth of scooters. I think 16 grand the first month I put it online and it did really well. So I know there's money in the market. I also know that there's a lot, right? Like you buy a scooter wholesale for $200, it might sell for four or 500. That's a good, good amount of money. All I would need to do is sell five of them a month and you know that's a pretty decent amount of money. I could probably sell 10 and make even more. So now I have the data here. Now I have a domain that looks good. I also see that the domain is, is valued pretty good, right? Lots of other scooter domains have probably sold pretty good. Okay, so I can buy this domain. I can go out there, I can build up the rankings. I go to the volume, I look at what it ranks for. All right, cool, here's some scooter stuff. Now, the cool thing about this too is the fact that with a site like this, it's, it's ranking right now, right? So this data is, is right now. So scooters are us, you have all these scooter sites and right here i think it was like number 15 or 17 scooters or us down here was it Scoot scooters or us yeah um and then you'll see that it actually does in fact rank now these do fluctuate so i mean maybe the ranking change let's see are us scooters or us um there we go uh, but you'll see here if you look at the rankings you'll see that it probably does rank for a lot of the stuff right now, right? Which is pretty cool. It's like, okay, we could take a look at what it ranked for. We could build this up and make a good site about scooters. Again, what this is going to do is it is going to solve info overload because info overload is based on a couple of interesting things, okay? The reason you have info overload is because you're saying what niche how traffic, what type of platform? Am I gonna do blogging? Am I gonna do Shopify? What am I gonna do? You might say, uh, how am I gonna make money? Should I do drop shipping or affiliate marketing or direct sales? What should I do here? And what's gonna happen is you're gonna have all these questions. And yes, of course, this is going to lead to info overload. However, if I start with a domain like I'm showing you here, okay, what niche am I going into? scooters okay cool how am i going to sell them well i could go here and i could do gas scooter affiliate program all right i could find a gas scooter affiliate program five percent commission that's a little low here's another one i don't know how much that pays we could find out here six percent and we could go through and say well do i want to be an affiliate or maybe i'll do gas scooter drop shipping okay and we could see what the prices look like now, on a lot of these, okay, I'm probably not gonna do Alibaba on this because I don't really wanna have a thousand scooters in my garage and I don't want the liability, but I could see here, hey, this is pretty cool. There is a good profit margin. And we could see here what the margin looks like. All right, so we got um, 600, 200, and on and on we go. 
$38 for an electric one, some kind of weird motorbike thing. And we look at this and we're like, okay, this looks pretty cool. Here is a, a 25 mile an hour waterproof electric scooter, $110. Okay, cool. So waterproof electric scooter, okay? We could see they go for quite a bit. Here's 1300 that looks pretty similar, right? So that's a pretty darn good markup. Hey, that's looking pretty good. Now, um, you will also see cheaper ones and stuff like that. So now what I'm doing is I'm using that domain to say, okay, now I can build around this. I could go to the keyword explorer and I could do something like gas scooter and I could start to build. Um, Frank says, so basically the domain has the rankings to determine what niche will be in. Yes, this is a great place to find niches, right? Very important. Um, Damien, is it possible to do on a smartphone? Probably not. Yeah, I, I mean, it's gonna be difficult. I know some people are like the king of the phone. Um, I mean, you can get a laptop for like 50 bucks nowadays. So, I mean, maybe 150 for like one of them Chrome tablets or whatever, uh, but I would get something. Right, so we're gonna go through and we're gonna say, hey, this is, this is good, this looks great. And again, I can go through and I can sort these by positions and I could see what is available, right? And you could see uh, Shakers Daily, uh, Catch Quotes, um, all kinds of different things, right? So I could go through and say, well, you know, there's some good stuff that I can bid on, some good things I can use. Now, if you don't have money to buy a domain, don't worry. We could actually go to Flippa and we can just glean from what is working, right? Because I could go here to Flippa, I could go websites, I could go, let's just do content. Maybe we'll look at blogs. Okay, when we look at this, you can actually see what's working. And a lot of them, we look at thefitnesstribe.com. Okay, it's $85,000, which is a lot which means nothing to me. What means something to me is it's making $4,270 a month. I could go in, you can use the things that I teach you on this channel to reverse engineer that site and see exactly what they're doing, right? And you know, I know for a fact, that site, whatever he's doing is making that much money. Now, I also know he's got 100,000 page views a month, which means he's probably not that good at monetizing, which is all right. We're gonna, we're gonna keep an eye on that and, and see what's going on. But we have to look at that and say, okay, how is this gonna work for us? Here's one about coffee. Um, here's one about health and beauty. Now that's broad, it's not showing us. Here's um, some kind of prepper uh, mom or something like that. And we could see, okay, they're making 900 bucks a month. Golfing tips, $500 a month. And again, we could go through and take a look at what these guys rank for using our keyword tools, uh, Ahrefs or SEMrush or whatever it is you like. And we could see, okay, what are they ranking for? 11,000 11, keywords, 5,000 visitors a month. So there we go, that's, I mean, not bad, right? And we're looking at it, we're like, okay, putter weight, players championship winners. This is all non-competitive traffic. If you wanted to do this with a new site, you could. If you wanted to buy his site, you could. I don't know what it's gonna go through in the end, but we start to look at this and say, okay, this is where the money's at, right? Does that make sense to everyone? It's like, this is what's going to solve info overload. Now I just go out there and I find some golf affiliate programs. Maybe I'll, I'll go over to ClickBank and go to the marketplace and we could see, um, all right, it's gonna have me sign in again. The, the joy of doing these live is you gotta sign in a million times, right? All right, there we go. So uh, we'll go golf, right? What kind of golf products? Here's some winning golf, lifelong go, uh, golf uh, lessons, and on and on we go, right? So now we have products we can use. We can go over to Offer Vault, right, like this, and we can do golf, right, like this, and we have golf subscription box, sports, uh, advanced golf training, and on and on we go. And a lot of these are actually pay per lead, like this one is a sweepstakes to win $1,000 worth of golf club. Now, when we see this, this is what we call an SOI, or single opt-in, which means to get that two, or to get that $1.75, all I gotta do is get them to put their email in. All right, so I just make a mailing list with some golf tips, set it up, boom, there we go. 
right? It's very simple. And again, all we're doing is looking here saying, hey, what is out there? What is working? And that's why if you look at the domains that I sell, because one of the things I do is I build these sites up and sell them or build them up and keep them, it's the same kind of thing I've been doing for many, many years. And some of the domains I have over here at domains.blogprofitnetwork.com, you could see why I do this, right? You guys saw live a couple weeks ago or last week, I don't remember, it's been a long time. Um, but what I did is I had a website that I purchased, a domain name called mojiedit.com. And mojiedit.com had lots of rankings for a ton of Emotion keywords and the sites in this niche were making a bunch of money. Now this was a more expensive domain, but what you're gonna see here is the rankings are picking up and there's a lot of money in this market. This is a market that I have made over seven figures in, in a very simple way. And look, this is the content that we showed you. Here's a brand new ranking, right? I got this domain, I set it up and boom, here we go, fire emoji meaning, and we can see uh, emoji edit right there. We got eggplant emoji meaning. I won't, I won't Google that one because it says some interesting things, but we do rank for it, right? And we could see all kinds of things. I'm getting all kinds of new rankings all the time, right? And this is 100% AI content, right? Look at this, 34 new rankings, boom, right like that. Look at all these, just shooting up like crazy. Uh, we also have um, another one I bought, which we sold to a client yesterday. It was, um, height maximizer. This one was for the ClickBank offers. I actually did this live on a Saturday webinar and we, we hopped on the Saturday webinar, I bought the domain and because I bought it at Namecheap, we took it over instantly and I was like, oh my gosh, this thing ranked instantly within an hour because if you buy them at Namecheap auctions, you get them within an hour. I had the webinar an hour later, we showed how it ranked and boom, here it is, right? Look at all these new rankings. Uh, foods that make you grow taller, uh, what foods make you taller, and on and on we go. And the idea is, okay, maybe we can go to ClickBank and do taller, right? Or maybe we can go to OfferVault, right? And with that domain, we're like, okay, this is pretty cool. This is pretty easy. We just go out there, we, we make it work, right? Does that make sense to everyone? Smash a like button if that makes sense to you. Okay. Cool. So we look at that and we're like, okay, this is looking pretty good. We got all this stuff here, not hard to do. Okay. And we can take some other questions as well. So we got that and we're like, okay, this is looking pretty good, pretty simple. There we go. Right. And that is the deal there. Okay. So we're going to go through and we will look at some other stuff. But the idea is like over here with these domains, we're looking at this and we're like, okay, we have all this stuff here. It's looking pretty good, okay? Um, let's see, okay. Okay, so there we have uh, Exit Royal Realty. This one was a good one for uh, royalty, uh, realty, something like that. And we're like, okay, look at this one. Had tons and tons of rankings. Uh, we had some other ones as well. And these are things that are very simple. All you have to do is realize exactly what's going on and make it work in a very, very simple way, right? This one had tons of rankings for salon stuff. And now I'm gonna go through and be like, okay, now I can build a website around salon stuff, um, maybe, you know, different hair dryers and, and um, cutters and clippers and things like that for this type of niche, right? So very simple, very easy. All we have to do is say, hey, there we go, bada bing, bada boom, we are now ready to go. Very simple, okay? Then let's see here. Okay, we got a lot of questions coming in, so we'll go through and we will do, uh, is there still a sale on some of the VPN sites? Yeah, you can contact my team. Um, I know Lauren is on live chat. You could just go to the live chat down here, right here, and you can talk to Lauren and say, hey, this is the domain I want, um, and she'll help you with that. 
or you could get us on tickets. Uh, Tina's on tickets that'll help you with that as well. So very simple, very easy. All you have to do is say, hey, I'm willing to go through and build this stuff up. Now, some of these domains and some of the stuff we can build up in a bigger way, right? So maybe we'll have uh, the height one and I can add YouTube or I can add something else or I can do Pinterest or something very, very uh, specific, right? Does that make sense to everything, everyone? Yeah, so you're saying then I need to find low comp keywords to write content, that's the hard part. And what's happening here is these domains and these niches are giving us that, right? So I, if I look at the golf site, I could go through and pick out the different ones that I want. Right, does that make sense? So I just go out there, pick out the different ones I want, and bada bing, bada boom, I'm ready to go. Okay, so super, super simple, super, super easy. Okay, any questions on that? Let me know. Cool, and I think that took care of um, the question for, let's see, who did that take care of? That was Chrissy's question. All right, next one here. Let's get rid of this. How do I make a Google ad campaign go directly to an affiliate offer without being banned from Google? Okay, so if you are trying to do direct linking on Google, uh, don't. I, I would say make a, make a landing page. And the reason is, is you can probably convert better than the affiliate page because you know your traffic. So I wouldn't do that, I mean, literally, Anyone here who wants to could probably set up a website by the end of the day. So, I mean, just set up a website. I would not, why risk it? Like literally, it takes a day to set up a website. It's not that hard. Um, so that would be my advice on that. Okay, I need a step-by-step, -step, a step to, I need a step-by-step -step to start the process. I have ClickBank, but don't know how to promote the affiliate links provided. What content should I be using to get consistent traffic to the offer? Of course, organic, not paid. Traffic first, and then maybe paid after a few profits. Okay, so with this, again, we're gonna go back to the whole info overload thing. Okay, the info overload thing here, we have to look at and start to understand because this is where people really, really get hung up, right? So with the info overload, the reason you're having trouble is you are asking the wrong question. You're saying how to make money on ClickBank. Okay, that's what you're asking. All right, well, there's a million ways to make money on ClickBank. There's a million products that you can make money on ClickBank with. What I would rather see you do is find your niche first. Okay? Notice how with the Getting Taller website, I went through and I did um, the niche. And I'm like, okay, let's get that niche first. Number one, let's get that first. Then we're gonna go through and we're gonna find the product, okay? This is super important. Watch, I'm gonna show you why this is super important. All right, let's get over here. The reason this is super important is this. If I go over here to a keyword tool, Let's say we're gonna use this one here, okay? And let's say we go to Keyword Explorer. And we go out there and I say, let's do pet insurance. What you're gonna see is pet insurance is super, super competitive, very difficult, and there's gonna be a bunch of ads on it. Now, I do know pet insurance is a very good niche on the offer vault, right? 20, 17, 15, on and on we go. So there we go, like you would think this is a pretty good niche, however, it's super competitive. So that's not necessarily what I'm going to do. I can do something like um, dog won't eat, dog won't eat, right? Dog won't eat. This is something where it's like, oh, hey, this, kinda, this guy kind of needs pet insurance or at least he needs a vet, vet. Yeah, there you go, easy pet vets, $32 a lead, right? So we look at that and we're like, okay, now we can see ask a veterinarian, just answer vet, $25. Okay, so now see how I'm looking at that niche first? 
And to show you how this works, I actually have a student who got a high ticket niche. She hasn't done anything with it, but hey, it's a good niche. So this is what it looks like when you get one of our niches. She got dogallergyadvisor.com. Um, and this was a content that came with her site. Let's see, I spelled it wrong. Dog Allergy Advisor. Dog Allergy. Is it this one? Dog Allergy Advisor. It's one of these. There it is. Right, and you could see that she ranks for like dog turkey allergy, yogurt for dog skin. Can dogs be. See how this is all like, this is perfect for veterinarian stuff because it's like, okay, if your dog's allergic to turkey or your dog's having an issue with the turkey, uh, then you're like, okay, there you go. Very simple, very easy, and everything is on the up and up, and all we have to do is promote dog insurance, right? Does that make sense to everyone how that works? And again, like this is an example. This was a premium high ticket niche, um, but this is the kind of thing that we try to get you is something that you can use. And with this one, I think she's getting traffic. Let's see, similar web. Um, I believe she's getting traffic. Yeah, so she is getting traffic. Um, there you go, right? So that's the best thing to do is to go and find a niche first. Find the niche first, then find the money, then get the traffic, right? Because the traffic is the niche. The niche is the traffic. It's one and the same. And I think it's very, very, very uh, important to look at that, okay? And we'll try to get some of the other uh, questions as well. Let me, um, let's see, we're 40 minutes in. So we'll do a commercial here in a minute and then um, we will get the other ones. Okay, so that should do the trick for that one. Other question, will this, com will this work for complete new people with no experience with affiliate marketing? If you want to. I mean, anyone and everyone that started a successful business started as a newbie. Started with nothing. So yes, it will. How, okay, next question, how to scale a fresh website using AI to generate profit ASAP without using pay-per-click only SEO? Well, I would, I would take a look at the example of some of the sites that we set up, which would be um, like this one here or the smiley one, Moji Edit, right? Moji Edit's getting tons of rankings, tons of traffic, and this is all AI content. Um, same with lots of other sites that we have that uh, get lots of stuff. Now, if you're doing this with a new, fresh website, it's going to take a longer, a little bit longer to get indexed. However, once you get indexed, you know if you're going for non-competitive keywords, you should be okay as long as your content is good. The key to doing AI is to remember that AI content is not perfect. AI content is not super perfect. We have to look at this and understand. Okay. What are we, how are we going to make this better? How am I going to put my affiliate links in? How am I going to focus on the things that I need to focus on so that I could get the results that I want? This is super, super, super important. All right? Um, and you do it the same way, right? I mean, you can get a backlink. You can do a press release. Those kind of things will boost up your site faster. Um, and to learn about that, I think Friday's video was about press releases. So check that one out. All right. Hey, Marcus, this is uh, Debir from Algeria. Thanks for the value. Okay, where's the question? Can you tell us what is the minimum capital to pay for tools we need to buy an expired domain and rebuild it? So I use Spamzilla and Ahrefs. So that, I think, is like $130 a month for the two of them. Now, you don't have to do that. Like, you can use um, the Hoth, right, the Hoth free keyword tool, right, like this. Um, they have a pretty good keyword tool that's free, and I can go through, I think it's under SEO rankings or something, rankings checker, is this the one? Yeah, so I could do mojiedit.com, and I could see what it ranks for like this. Okay, pretty cool, pretty simple. You just build it out, you make it work, and then there you go, pretty easy, right? So we look at that and we're like, okay, this is looking pretty cool. There's all the things we rank for. You can even do like height maximizer. I think I spelled it right. It's maximize or, or max, oh, there it is, right? And you could see the different rankings that it has. Now, I don't think this gives you a competition 
So, but I mean, if you're buying a domain, it doesn't really matter the competition. What matters is do you rank for the keyword, uh, which makes it really cool. Okay, so we could go through and look at that. Next question here, we have Marcus. Do you recommend AI for auto blogging plugins for your WordPress sites? No, I don't use auto blogging. I do not. I'm not a fan. Um, I think eventually that's going to um, make you get hit with a search engine penalty if you're just using auto blogging AI stuff. Um, I would much rather see you, you know, look at the content and make it work for that. Uh, where do you find domains to buy for free? I don't. There are no domains you can buy for free. Um, I mean, yeah, they, they cost money, so they're not going to be free. Uh, now you could get them for five bucks. I've gotten some good ones for five bucks, um, but again, they're not going to be free. All right, are there particular niches that this works better in? Well, it has to do with your creativity and, and what you can think about your market. Like, I mean, obviously there's more expensive niches, but that doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna do better, right? If you have a good niche and you get good traffic, you might make a lot of money. Like, you would not think that the Emotion niche, the smiley face niche, was that great. However, it is, right? I was able to make a lot of money in it, so that's important. Um, so I would say, forget about that question and start finding an edge, right? Far too many people are hung up on, oh, hey, what's the best? What's the best affiliate offer? Well, there isn't one. The best affiliate offer is the one that fits your market. That's the best affiliate offer. Well, what's the best niche? Well, the best niche is the one you can get traffic in. That's the best niche. So we have to look at that and start to understand um, how this works and what's going on. All right, next one from Audio Incantations. What's the easiest, quickest, cheapest, repeatable way to make money online that can, it can be done every day for multiple years? Well, the best way to do that is to find a good niche and deliberately make content for that niche, right? Because if you go out there and you're like, okay, well, I don't have any money, I, 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 I just need to get going. What you can do is look at your keyword tool and find traffic in the niches that you want, right? And then duplicate it. What am I gonna do? Well, for brush salon, I'm gonna go out there and maybe I'll do keyword explorer and I'll do something like for um, stylist, right? What kind of things do people want for stylist? And we can look at that, okay, average for this, or you could do like for, I forget what they're called, um, but you can go and you can look up like, or actually, this is where you could use ChatGPT as well. Um, I can go in and say, log in, apparently, right? I could go in and this will be, this is a hint of what you're going to learn on Friday's video. Uh, we're going to do a video on uh, keyword stuff with uh, ChatGPT. But I can go in and say, what are some products, hair stylist? buy for their business and what is the name for a hair stylist right and we can go through and it'll be like okay also known as hairdressers professional okay so hair care hair styling so all this stuff we could start looking at right hair stylist um, stuff like that let's see here and we can cross reference this with our um, keywords, or you can even do like, you know, uh, professional hair dryer, right? Like this. Okay. Um, I probably spelled professional wrong, so let's correct that. And yes, I did. Professional. Two S's. There we go. So, like, I could see what they're looking for professional hair dryer, professional. Uh, brush, right? Uh, professional uh, clippers, right? Stuff like that. Um, very simple, right? And that's the kind of thing where if I made content about that, boom, super simple, right? And, and again, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. If you did this, you would see, okay, well, you know, there's probably some blogs out there talking about this stuff. Um, let's see, here's some brands, in style, image beauty. So there's, 
other places that are talking about this stuff by right beauty right and what you could do is find one that's doing this stuff for hair salons so salons and spa equipment okay perfect so i could go there site explore find the stuff and start talking about the equipment they would use and this guy's got you know sixty thousand dollars a month worth of traffic or 55 to be exact and we start to realize okay now i can find like okay the best jalon bowls the best uh, stuff here, right? And we start to understand, hey, this is very simple. It's very straightforward. We just go down the list and we start to uh, make that happen, okay? Very simple. Okay, so that's what you would do. You would just go down the line and what you'll see is when you start making content like that, there's gonna be people on YouTube that are talking about this stuff, right? Let's do uh, hair dryer, okay? Hair dryer. There you go. This dryer versus that dryer. Hair dryer, so apparently there's an ASMR two hour hair dryer. I would think that your hair dryer would overheat, but you know, whatever, that's what they're doing. And we can see exactly how this works. Here's another guy doing this. And these people are making money talking about these different hair dryers. And then you can create content. You want a automated YouTube channel. You can do something like that. Will it be as big as the people talking and making this stuff? Probably not, but can it be really good? Yeah. Uh, how do I add affiliate links with AI content? You're not going to. What you're gonna do, again, I can't stress it enough, you're gonna get content from AI and you're gonna make it better. And you're going to add your affiliate links to it. So when I go and use something like content at scale, which you guys can see, we've used quite a bit. Well, you can't see because there it is right? Um, you can see we've used quite a bit here. And we start to look at this and say, okay, well, when I get content, what am I going to do with that content? Well, I could go through and say, here's some best binoculars for hunting. I'm going to go through and I'm going to look at this content. I'm going to edit it how I think it's fit for the niche. And then I'm going to add my affiliate links where it makes sense. Like right here, I would replace that with my Amazon affiliate link. Pretty simple, right? And we're like, hey, there you go. It's pretty easy. Again, what's happening is people are looking for shortcuts for the wrong stuff. Like adding an affiliate link and tweaking content is not hard to do. We were on a, a webinar yesterday and some lady uh, that, that bought our, um, our termite niche, Dawn, she was like, well, I thought it was gonna take like a month to edit content. And I'm like, no, that could be done in an hour, right? You could take an hour and edit this up. And I mean, what if this thing makes you 50 bucks a month. All right, well, that's $600 a year for one hour of work. Is that gonna happen? Is that guaranteed? Of course not. But playing the odds, I think it's something that can work really, really, really well, right? And if you understand, hey, we can go in there and tweak this out and um, put some ads, edit the stuff that we don't want, add some stuff we do want, maybe find some stuff on Offer Vault or ClickBank that's more fitting, and boom, there we go. Now we can make that a good piece of content or maybe I can turn this into a uh, YouTube channel and make like, oh, hey, here's the difference between the kayaks or whatever it is. So when it's like, if you're looking to push a button on AI and get rich, you're, you're sadly mistaken. If you're looking for AI to help you scale in ways that you could never scale before to make more money than you ever thought possible, yes, that's what it's for. But if you're looking for some $17 auto blogging AI plugin, I've seen them too. And I'll give you a hint, look at the screenshots. They're on every product the guy comes out with. Oh, here's the auto blogger, here's the auto YouTuber, here's the auto, it's garbage, right? It's not gonna get you where you want because those screenshots are from him selling you the product, not from the actual product being used. And so we need to understand that if you're out there looking for AI to do everything, it's not gonna do it. But if you use AI smartly, that sounds like a Trump word, bigly, right? You will understand, okay, this is something I can, like I'm using it all the time. If you were to look at a lot of the posts that we have, um, I did a post, actually I did a post for Sniper Wolf Net Worth or something like that. Okay, and so Sniper Wolf Net Worth, this, this one gets, I think like 7,000 visitors a month. 
here's a post I put that was an AI post, okay? And I can go in and tweak it and add it, add all the stuff in. So it is ranking, it is working, and it works in a really simple way. I'm also using AI, um, Content at Scale works really good for this, to take a video and make notes of the video, right? So there's a lot of things that you can use AI for, but like, hey, robot, make me a bunch of money. Yeah, I don't think that's it. That's not what we're looking at there. Maybe the robot will clean up my money that I just dropped everywhere. But we have to look at this and say, well, how is AI going to help me? Because I am the common denominator here. The robot's not going to make you money until they have a basic income, but that's quite a ways off. But we're going to start to understand, OK, I can use that um, to make this work in a very simple way. And it's not hard to do. Right After this training's done, I can give the link to AI. It'll make notes for me. It's pretty simple. And so we got to understand that. OK, um, let's see here. Next question. Please confirm if this is doable within my country. OK, so if you're in Africa, I don't know the affiliate laws in Africa, but I've had students in Africa and there hasn't been a problem. I would say look up the laws of what running a business is like for you. and. Um, other than that, affiliate marketing can work anywhere. And another thing I will say is a lot of people say, well, you know, if I'm in Africa or India, um, how am I going to get traffic? Do I have to get India or Africa traffic? No, you don't. You can be in Africa and market to the United States or England or whatever. Um, it doesn't matter where you live. Does blogging in other languages convert similarly? It can. Yeah, I mean, it just depends on uh, what your blog's about. Conversion has to do with speaking to people. It doesn't have anything to do with what language you're speaking in. It has to do with what you're saying. OK, uh, Casey. Hi, Marcus. I've been considering one of your programs. I'm in your email sequence. I noticed that none of the websites that you link to in reference to making money are online anymore. Uh, yeah, they are. We just talked about, I think we just showed you like five of them, right? So there was the uh, smiley face one. Uh, we have the taller one. We have the dog one. I mean, at any given time, I'm running about 50 different websites. Uh, just because I don't show all 50 on here doesn't mean I, I don't have them. Um, so you have to look at that, and you have to understand how it's working. Uh, do I have any current websites that you're making profit on? Yes, I do. Uh, some we show, some I don't. Some niches I like to keep to myself. Some niches um, I share about. So we have to look at this and understand this in a real world way. Um, but what I would ask is, does the system make sense? Do you see the profit method? That's the key. Does it make sense? Do you see the profit method? If you don't, then don't buy the stuff from anyone, including me. But if it makes sense and you're like, oh, yeah, I see how a dog allergy site could get people into this. And we start to understand exactly uh, what is going on there. Um, and if you're looking to join one of our courses, I would say start with the only one we have that's refundable, which is Blog Profit Network. You can start there. It's super cheap. If you don't like it, you say, I want a refund, and you get out of there. Our other products are non-refundable because oftentimes we're giving you a domain, we're giving you content, we're building it up for you. But Blog Profit Network is training. You go on there for a month and say, hey, you know what, thanks for the training. I just, whatever. Um, so that's a really good one. And with that, we'll take a little break, and then I'll come back and put some more questions on the board, and we'll go from there. So I'll be back in, I think this is like a two-minute commercial. Where's my commercial? This is it. All right, I'll be right back. Oh, hi there. Don't worry. Marcus will be right back in just a few minutes. If you want to get a Lamborghini full of cash like me, Make sure you pay attention to this important announcement. <laughs> All right, while we're taking a little break here, I wanted to let you know about blogprofitnetwork.com. If you've ever wanted help with affiliate marketing, over at blogprofitnetwork.com, you can sign up and get help each and every week. But that's not all. We're also going to give you blog plugins, recordings of every webinar we've had since we started Blog Profit Network, all kinds of tools and videos and help to get you making money online. And as if that's not enough, we're also giving you a free domain name from my own personal private vault. You can see here some of the estimated values according to GoDaddy from some of the domains that we gave away previously. There's a gigantic list in Blog Profit Network and you can claim a free domain as soon as you sign up. Plus, 
you're gonna get all kinds of help and tutorials, including my custom plugins, Funnel Voodoo, Ad Profit Voodoo, Click Voodoo, Button Voodoo, Slide Voodoo, and more. And every Tuesday, we have a live call where you can ask questions, show me your sites, your niches, and get help on pretty much anything that has to do with making money online. And all of this is available for less than what it costs to get a cup of coffee each and every day. That's right, you can sign up now and get help for a fraction of what the other gurus are charging. Yes, this is the real deal. Just take a look at the members forum and see everything we have to offer, from specials on domains, to the Blog Profit Network training videos, the Voodoo plugins, blog themes and templates, special reports from my own keyword research, notes from my videos, the domain names I talked about earlier, and downloadable recordings of each and every training we've had on Tuesday, there's a ton of them, including topical videos like how to start blogging, buying domains for profit, setting up videos to make money with an automated YouTube channel, how to get SEO traffic, and a whole lot more. So if you're ready to get the help you need to profit online, check out Hop on over to blogprofitnetwork.com and sign up today. Whoa, that's some cool stuff you got there over at blogprofitnetwork.com. But, Marcus, hey. Marcus, where are you? Come on, hurry up. These people are waiting. Marcus, come on. All right, now back to our show. <laughs> All right, so we're back with you. I'm going to try to get some of these questions here and uh, get you rocking and rolling. And let's see here. I think I got the majority of them. I got a couple others. And if you guys have others, just let me know. And we'll get you guys a question and an answer. So, cool stuff. Okay, cool deal. Um, Emil says, I mean, where can you find free domains without using Spamzilla? Uh, so you could just search for expired domains. Now it's gonna take forever to do. Like literally by the time you figure out a good domain, I probably would have already bought it. So you gotta look at that. Um, so yeah, I mean, literally $30 a month for Spamzilla. I mean, don't eat out once a month and you can get it, but that's, that's what I would do. And I have a training on that over at Spamzilla.com. Nathaniel, how do we invest in you as a mentor partner? I have 6,000 to invest and studying for a marketing certificate. What I would do, Nathaniel, is I would go over to uh, domains.blogprofitnetwork.com Choose a domain that's in your price range, whatever you want to do, um, and, and that is a way to partner with me. The people that get our premium domains get a little bit more time with me. They get three calls a week uh, with a group. You can have a personal call as needed. Obviously, be gentle. I do have a lot of time. Um, I don't have a lot of time, so uh, save those for stuff you really need, like maybe once a month you can go in and get a call or something like that. Um, but you can see here there's a lot of domains. Now, what I try to do on our domains page is I try to price them very fairly. Personally, between you, me, and the wall and the other people watching this, I don't subscribe to the ClickFunnels charge whatever someone will pay. I don't think that's fair. I think it needs to be a fair price, although apparently the grocery store down the road is learning from ClickFunnels because, I mean, a steak was $40 yesterday. I was like, wait a minute. These used to be like $9, what happened? But I don't subscribe to that whole charge whatever you can thing. Um, I, try to char I, I try to base these domains on a fair amount. Like if you got 24 pieces of content, that's probably gonna cost you about $1,200. Now it is less for me because I pay an absorbent amount for the tools I use, but uh, for you it would cost like $1,200 for that. In addition to that, if we were to look at GoDaddy um, appraisal, Okay, you can see what these are valued at. Again, GoDaddy appraisal is not the be-all end-all. It's not like the Bible of domains, but it does give you a good 
idea of what's going on. So like, yeah, PDF tools went for $24,000. So I think PDF signs is probably worth 1400. Take the 1400, add the 1200 content. And I think that's a pretty fair price. How many of you guys are like, that's fair. Yeah, I think that's more than fair. And you're giving me coaching and training for a year. You're giving me three calls a week. I mean, that's pretty darn fair. And not only that, but GoDaddy doesn't show you the rankings. Check out the rankings. Boom. Look at all those number ones. So you're getting a domain with rankings. You're getting content that we put up. You get a site that we build for you. You get a year of coaching. I think that's pretty fair. I mean, you guys are like, yeah, dude. I mean, I know I could probably do the ClickFunnels thing and be all domain, $50,000. Each piece of content, $1,000. Access to me, $5 million. You're saving $5 million. I think you guys are smarter than that. I think you're going to go through and be like, yeah, I understand. That's, that's worth it, right? And I want something to where, like, if you had to sell it, maybe it's worth that much. So if you ever had to get out, maybe you could. Now, it's not guaranteed. It's not all this other stuff, but it is something that I believe uh, can work really well if you're willing to do it. Like we saw that example of the gal who bought the dog allergy one. She hasn't done anything, and it's still ranking. She could go to Flippa and probably sell that as a ranking site. Right, um, and we start to realize, oh wait a minute, this is stuff that actually works. You have salonbrush.com, right? This domain here ranks for all kinds of stuff. It's got a decent value of about eighteen hundred bucks. Now again, look at your comps. Don't just trust it because if I do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, dot com, it's going to say it's worth money. But I, I don't know until I look at this. So Salon Logic Makeup Brush, Salon Vanity. Yeah, I think this is worth 1800 In addition, you're also getting 12 pieces of content, which are probably about 50 bucks each, so 600 So 1800 and 1600 that's like 2400 bucks, and you're getting a year of coaching and the plan and the domain and the rankings. And you start to realize, wow, this is actually pretty fair. I mean, I probably could charge more for this, but I want to make it to where it's fair and everyone has a chance to get in. And that's what I do. I wholesale these, I, I buy them at auction, we build them up, we give them to you guys as a starting business, and then we teach you how to make them work, which is pretty cool. And if you like that, it's uh, domains.blogprofitnetwork.com, which I think is, is uh, pretty cool. And you can, even if you don't want to buy one, go here and look at the stuff I buy. Right? You can go here and be like, oh, well, what does, what does Marcus buy and why? Right? You can go here, take all the domains, and this is a tool we're going to give you in Blog Profit Network, uh, which I love this tool. Had it made for me. But I can go here, look at all the domains, and say, well, let's see why Marcus buys what he buys. Boom. Here we go. Let's see what ranks and uh, backlinks and things like that. And you kind of see, hey, check it out. The real estate site he bought has almost 2,500 rankings. PDF, 800. And on and on we go. And we start to realize, wow, that's something that can actually work. That's something of value uh, that anyone can use if you're willing to do it. Um, and that's a key is you have to be willing to do it. You have to be willing to say, yes, I will try. Yes, I will build it. Yes, I will make it work, uh, which is very simple. Um, so yeah, let's see here. We've got a couple other questions here. Uh, let's see, a couple questions about the high ticket niche one. Uh, but let's see, click there. Okay. Um, Let's see, I'll, let's put these here. Okay. I think I could do these in bulk, let's see, there we go. All right, we'll do these in bulk. Okay, so James says, I agree, many don't take his advice. I've learned so much from him, Marcus is my go-to guy. All right, thanks, James. Sandra, so basically these results are not typical, implied, or guaranteed. Most people trying to make money make nothing. Yes, you gotta remember. Most people trying to do online business make nothing. That's a fact. Most people don't do anything. Most people don't start with a site that's already got something. So we got to look at that. We have people all the time. Um, I remember we sold on one of our Blog Profit Network calls. Someone bought a domain. They didn't even buy our content. They made their own because they wanted a deal. And um, within a week, she made money on it. Is that typical implied or guaranteed? Of course not. 
did she spend a lot of money for the domain and the content? Of course. But did she get some kind of action? Yes, she did. And now, if you can get one action, you can get a lot of actions. And the key is building it up. Um, Sandra, so basically, even if you spend twelve seventy seven for a high ticket niche, it's not guaranteed. Absolutely, nothing in life is guaranteed. Nothing. And if you're looking for someone to charge you a certain amount of money and then guarantee you're going to make money, you should not be in this business. Like plain and simple, you should not be in this business because no one can guarantee you anything. And if they do, I mean, look at the difference. You go to Flippa, you say, okay, let's get a site that's got some traffic and making money. Okay, so $400. So here's one for 14,000, it makes 14 grand a month and it costs 585. So how many of you guys would like to make 14 grand a month? Okay, good. You better have like 600 grand ready. Because what happens is the average business is going to go for a multiple of 36. Oh, let's see, 36x. What that means is that if it makes $100 a month, that business is going to cost $36,000, okay? It's the average rate. You can look at this in the franchise model, right? You're like, okay, what if I buy a McDonald's, right? Three million dollars. Average is going to make probably a hundred grand a month, right? Over three years, that's going to equal the three million dollars you paid. That is the standard in business is thirty six x. Now, what we're doing is we're starting to look at like, okay, what if I can buy something in the process? Like, what if a guy started building a McDonald's in a good location, and it's not up yet, it's not making anything but he went bankrupt and now he has to sell it. How many of you guys think that would be a smart business decision if you could get that for 50,000? Heck yeah, that would be a smart business decision, right? And so we start to understand that's what we're doing is we're buying these um, kind of like at wholesale. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, if, if you feel like he just wants to sell you Blog Profit Network is refundable. Yeah, I don't, I don't care if you buy anything or not. Watch my free stuff. Right, that, that's the key. Um, there's a lot of people that make money with my free videos. I get notes all the time. There was a guy who wrote a comment. I didn't verify it, but usually they're true. Nine times out of 10, they're true. Um, and he wrote a comment and he's like, hey, I make a living. I bought two houses, two boats with your free training. Right, and I was like, wait a minute, that's pretty cool. I think I could probably find that con uh, comment for you. Uh, where is it? Comments. Let's see, you would type boat, boat. Uh, yes. Here it is here. So on this video here. Dial pads, AI fix. Um, let's see, he had a comment, so it's down here. Uh, let's see. Get the pictures in there too. So this guy just watched free stuff. He hasn't even bought anything from me. He said, thank you, Marcus, you are, theory, you are theory and proof of action, blah, blah, blah. He's got a lot of nice things he said. Um, and then he said, the information he gives you free will open your eyes, make you think different. That is where the money lies. Um, and then he says something about, do, 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 do. Uh, he changed my life, two homes, two boats. I've never met this guy. He just watched my free content. I uh, got two boats, two houses. I'm not rich, I'm comfortable, have what I need. Um, and a bunch of charities he gives to, and a lot of it he's saying is based on the free stuff he learned, which is pretty cool. Now, is that guaranteed? If you watch a video, you're gonna get rich? No, like I said, nothing's guaranteed. You have to do the work, you have to stick to it, and a lot of it is about persistence. And if you understand that, and you're like, oh, I'll buy a high ticket niche, and I will follow along with what you do. I will follow along, and I will keep doing it. Even when I feel like it's not working, I will keep doing it. Um, and that's the key is understanding that, hey, we're just going to keep going. That's what I'm going to do. I have, I'll tell you guys, I've had people come into my life so many times since I've run this business. And I've seen people come, I've seen people go. And they come and they go and they come and they go. And you know what? I've been doing the same thing for 23 years. I keep doing it. And they come to me years later and they're like, Marcus, why am I not getting the results? And I'm like, because you don't show up every day. What do I do? I show up every day. 
here I am today. I'll be here tomorrow. I'll be here in 10 years. But you say, how do I know you're not going to take the money and run? Yeah, I'm going to take your 100 bucks or 5,000 bucks for a site and run. I will get maybe like four miles away and run out of money. But, you know, yeah. It's the same thing I've been doing 23 years. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to go anywhere. This is what I do for a living. And when people understand that, um, I think they start to realize like, hey, wait a minute. This is about consistency and showing up. This is about showing up and doing the right thing at the right time to the right audience and keep doing it. Um, we're going to have a video coming up on this channel, which if you haven't smashed the like button and subscribe, do that now because you're probably missing out if you don't watch the videos. Um, this video is going to be about creating product videos, right? How to create videos on products. Um, and a lot of people are like, well, Marcus, I don't want to give money to some guru. You don't want to give money to a guru? Good. Here's what you do. Take the five grand, whatever, go buy a bunch of Amazon products, do reviews on them. And preferably in the same niche, like maybe I'm doing gardening products. Get $5,000 worth of them, do reviews on them. Um, show how they work. Answer the questions. Use AI to help you. And you will get results. Like, do you not think if you spent 500, like, let's, let's take a look at this. Let's say you went out there, and again, this is not investment advice. This is the stuff that I use, right? So if you went out there and you're like, okay, let's say I spent $5,000. So instead of giving it to a guru, I take the 5,000, I buy products on Amazon in the gardening niche. The average product in the gardening niche is probably 50 to $100, okay? So let's say 75 bucks. So we'll do 5,000 over 75. So that means you could get 67 products, probably more, right? So let's say you get 100 products. So you get 100 products, okay? And you look at this and you say, okay, well, let's go to the old chat GPT. Pay attention, very close attention. What are some popular Amazon products in the gardening niche under 75 bucks. Watch what happens here. Pruning shears. Okay, good. Watch this. Keyword explorer. Pruning shears. Ah, 22,000 people a month searching for it. Go to YouTube. Pruning shears. Videos. Boom. Right? Super simple. You're like, okay. Then I go to the next one. Garden gloves. All right. Now I'm going to do a video on the garden gloves that I bought. Boom. Easy. Very little competition. Do a TikTok. Do a video. Make a post. Get a Facebook group. Start talking about this stuff. You can make money as an Amazon affiliate doing this in a simple way. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go over to Offer Vault and you're going to find what I call the zinger. Okay. We go over here to Offer Vault and we type in garden, right, like this. And we're like, okay, we got garden. There's some weird garden stuff. Backyard secret garden. We have um, another one. We have other garden stuff. Pest control for gardens. We got more pest control, some kind of handy.com, uh, all kinds of stuff. So we're going to find a really good offer that pays really well. Maybe like some shears or lawn care or something like that. And we start to realize, wait a minute. So if I had 65 products or 100 products, and those products average 2,000 searches a month, what if I got, I don't know, let's say I only get 100 visitors a month each. That's it. That's all I got to do is get 100 a month each times 100 products. That's 10,000 visitors a month. Product driven visitors a month. Are you starting to get it? Very, very simple. And you start to understand this and you're like, wait a minute. Now I get it. That's 10,000 visitors a month. If I can make a dollar a visitor, 50 cents a visitor, that's where the money's at. But what's going to happen? Most people are going to be like, well, I did one. I bought one glove because I'm going to be the Michael Jackson of gardening. Don't worry. The jokes are free. But I bought one glove and I'm like, hey, check this out. Why didn't it work? Well, because you only did one. 
what's going to happen is one, two, three, you're going to hit critical mass right around 15 or 30. One of them's going to take off, and it's going to take everything else with it. And you start to understand, oh, that's the business. And if you are skeptical about buying stuff from gurus, don't buy stuff from gurus. Go buy products there. Now, if you want to do this the right way, our domains are really cool. Like if you did PDF signs, you can do that. Or salon brush, that'd be perfect. You get that one, you're like, okay, Marcus, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to do the same thing. It's already got rankings, so it's already going to do well and it'll get picked up pretty much instantly. And maybe someone out there is a hairdresser and they're like, hey, I know about this. Maybe I'll go and do, um, you know, shears and hair dryers and combs and sprays and dyes and all this stuff. And you're like, whoa, did you literally just give me the secret to how this works? I did. But again, it's consistency and nobody wants to do consistency because it's boring. It's not glamorous. It doesn't take that much time. It's not hard to do, but it's not glamorous. So they don't do it. They want this, you know, I, I want to ride around in my Lamborghini. That's how I want to get rich. And it's like, well, nobody buys you a Lambo and pays you to drive it. Last I checked. I don't know. There was some YouTube video I saw where he said that was the case, but they didn't drop it off at my door yet. And we got to understand, hey, now I need to just go out there and make this work and, and go down the list. And that's why buying domains and our high ticket niches and stuff like that are so important because we're going to give you that direction. You're going to get that direction and be like, oh, preferred wallet. OK, what am I going to do? I'm going to do crypto stuff. Uh, Casa stamps, what am I going to do with this? I'm going to make a site that sells uh, Etsy stuff as an affiliate. Right? And boom, there we go. Very simple. And we start to realize, oh, now I get it. Now it's making sense. Now it's making sense. And we got all kinds of different um, stamps. Right? And we're like, OK, how do I build this up? Now, this one um, had a lot more rankings. So we could build up a lot of the older ones as well, which that's the key. right? And when you take over a new domain, remember, you will lose rankings because obviously the content comes down for a brief period of time. But then when it comes up, you'll see what happened with Moji Edit happened to yours. right? So you're going to see at a glance, you're like, oh my gosh, this, the rankings are going down. What am I going to do? Well, I'm going to wait, apparently. But we're going to go through and we're like, hey, check this out. It looks like the rankings are going down and the traffic's going down. But what you're going to see in the calendar is we are picking up a lot of new stuff. Right? Very cool. There you go. Right? Super simple. Um, Emil says, how hard is it to find a domain with traffic under 100 bucks on GoDaddy auctions? All right, you guys want a tip? OK, you're going to have to buy Spamzilla, but I'll give you a tip right here. That's amazing. So you want to find them? What you do is you go to Spamzilla. You go to GoDaddy Closeout. GoDaddy Closeouts are domains that are under $100. You look them up based on traffic, and you look for what you want. So I got Bright Futures. Hey, if that's about scholarships, that's probably a pretty darn good buy, right? So we look at that. We're like, OK, this is pretty cool. See what we got here. Bright Futures International, study abroad. Perfect. This is exactly what I want. There you go. And it talks about Bright Futures. So Bright Futures is a scholarship. And I don't know if you have noticed, but college is really, 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 really expensive. So I can then turn this into an education site. And bada bing, bada boom, I can, I can do. Uh, all kinds of different things, like let's do um, student loan, student loan offers. Boom, 180 bucks, 80 bucks, on and on we go. Pretty simple, right? And we start to realize, hey, wait a minute, now I can do that. Now that domain on the old Spamzilla was from this uh, search, the the closeouts, and it is dun dun dun. dun. $40. There you go. Bright, brightfutures.co.uk went for $1,600. I can add it to cart. I can buy it. And there we go. Right? Super simple. How many of you guys are like, wait a minute. You could literally do that? Yeah. It's not hard. I buy them all the time. You just have to know what you're looking for. Um, and that is the key. And if you understand that, it's pretty much game over. 
you win, right? And that is the way the cookie crumbles, which is pretty cool. Um, so awesome stuff. And I just bought that one now. So there we go. We'll use that for a niche or something like that. Um, but again, that's what we're looking at is how do we make this stuff work in a really easy way? How do we look at this practically? Because a lot of people don't look at this practically. They are looking at it with the eye of, oh, let's just make the money and hopefully, you know, whatever. No, no, look at it practically, answer practically, answer honestly, and, and focus. Let's take a look at some other questions. Uh, which affiliate hubs do you have? Which affiliate hubs do you find have the highest quality, highest converting products? So a high converting product is relative to your traffic. Like that's the key. If you have the wrong traffic, it won't convert. If you have the right traffic, anything will convert. Uh, what do you do if you get stuck and lack results for a time? I look at the data and see why. All right, if I'm not ranking, maybe it is my domain. If I am ranking but not getting sales, maybe it's my sales message. If I'm doing this and this, so you're gonna look at the data and make it make sense. Uh, David, I'm pretty new to this. I've signed up for Perform, ClickBank, Max Bounty. However, to access the offers, they require proof of earnings. Is there any way around this? Yes, call them. Call them, show them your website, say this is what I'm doing, this is the niche I'm in. If you do that, chances are they will accept you. Okay, um, let's see, I think we got these ones done. Got that one done. Vision, I'm ranking Google page three in one keyword Difficulty is 30 and it's only third month. What should I do to rank page one? So in order to do this, look at the page and see what's ranking uh, number one. See what's ranking in the top 10 and see what you can do to be like them. Um, that's gonna be key. Because a lot of times ranking from 30 to page one has to do with your title, has to do with your content, and it can be done very, very simple. All right, Sandra, how much people on average earn who buy your high ticket niche? Well, that is a loaded question. Most of the time, people do not report their income to me. Nine times out of 10, they don't. 99 times out of 100, most people don't do anything with it. Most people who get a high ticket niche don't do anything with it. That's a fact. Um, do we still support them? Do we still do stuff? Of course, when you're ready, come on down, we'll get the help. Um, so I don't know. I will tell you that the average person who tries to do this stuff, they make nothing. Um, sadly, I go through high ticket niches every year to see uh, what people have done because I have a list of the ones we sold. Um, sadly, most people do nothing. That is the fact. Um, but can you make money with it? I believe you can. Uh, is it guaranteed? Of course not. The muscle building vlog, it's very hard to get picked up by Google if you have a blog spot blog. No, um, Google picks up blog spots all the time. So you can do that. Uh, Patricia, what would you recommend as a step down from Ahrefs? I would recommend, um, we have a video. I have a video on affiliate marketing dude keywords. Um, affiliate marketing dude keywords, watch this video called free keyword tools that will take care of you there. That'll, that'll answer that question. Um, let's see, next question. Do you have to have knowledge, do you have to have some sort of knowledge or expertise in the niche or is there workaround for creating good content regularly for SEO ranking? Well, um, you're gonna get knowledge as you go through, but you know, I would say it's good to have some knowledge um, do you need all the knowledge in the world? No, um, but some knowledge will help. Okay. Okay, uh, we did that one. All right, let's get some more questions going here. Um, we're, I planned on this, this training being a couple hours, so uh, lots of other questions are coming in. Uh, let's see. Mal, hey, can you fully trust buying a website from Flippa? No, you can't. I mean, sometimes they vet them, but I mean, again, you, you never know. Um, if you're spending a substantial amount of money, and what I mean by that is, is it substantial to you? Or it doesn't matter if it's 10,000 or 10 bucks. If that's a substantial amount of money for you, then do your research. 
uh, that's going to be very, very important. You want to make sure you do your research. If you're not doing your research, then you know, you're never going to know. Uh, so it's very important to, to understand what's going on and really look at, okay, how are we going to make this work? How are we going to uh, look at the numbers and understand what's going on? And if you do that, I mean, it should work pretty good. Like I try to be uh, super transparent where I can. Sometimes the data, you, you can't get all the data. Like sometimes, okay, Ahrefs is missing keywords or whatever. Um, but we try to give you the full picture before you buy a domain from us. Um, and one of the things is, when you buy a domain from us, is it making money right now? No, we just bought it. Like I just bought the scooter one at auction right here. Okay, so I bought this one, got it for 359. I think it's a safe bet because, okay, yeah, I should be able to sell it for at least 359 if I had to. But if we go to a Hrefs and we look at it and say, is it making money right now? It is not making money right now. But does it have rankings that can make money? Yes, it does. Can we build it up to make money? Yeah, I think we can. Is it pretty simple and straightforward? Absolutely. Um, and when we understand that, it's like, oh, okay, now I get exactly what's going on. That makes sense to me. Okay. Uh, let's see. Other questions coming in. So, does a domain matter in making sales? I believe it does. Um, I makes it. I think it makes it a lot easier. Which of your video trainings teach on reverse engineering? Um, I have quite a few keyword ones. Those we'll talk about reverse engineering. And then in the Blog Profit Network um, course, we teach that as well. So I, I would say that those are probably better videos, but there are some free ones here on YouTube too. I've seen so many time wasters on YouTube. It's refreshing to see a guy that's really got knowledge and backing up with live streams. Thanks, Jamie. Uh, appreciate that. Um, let's see here. So yeah, again, like, is that site making money? No, can it? Yes. Uh, we don't sell anything that's making money because most of my audience is out of the price range. Again, it's the 36. So even if I have a site that's making $100, to sell it at a fair price, if it's guaranteed making $100 over and over, yeah, that's going to be 36 grand. Most people are priced out of that. And again, would I spend 36,000 for a site making 100? No, I wouldn't. Could I get this site to make $100 a month? Yeah. Like if I worked on this for a month, I'm pretty sure I could get this to 100 bucks a month or more. Right? My scooter site sold 16,000 a month. Uh, that was revenue. My profit was like, I don't know, seven. Um, and it was with free traffic. So could I, could I make this happen? I, I think I could. So do you guys get that? Like how many of you guys are like, wait a minute. So I could probably buy the scooter site from you for, I don't know, 2000 bucks or whatever with content, with support, with all this stuff. And you're going to teach me how to make it work and it could get to a hundred a day. Yeah. Is it guaranteed? No. If it's guaranteed, you got to go pay, you know, forty thousand dollars for it. Um, but this is the the math because guess what? Every site you see was bought for like nine dollars as a domain. At one point, all the domains were bought for nine dollars. That's a fact. Even like Amazon, one day Jeff Bezos, I think there were seventy dollars back then. One day, old Jeff Bezos went out there and said, "I'm going to buy Amazon.com." Okay, and if you follow his story. He made money with free search engine rankings. That's why he chose books, because they rank. A lot of traffic, easy to rank, sell them, boom. So everything was built in a very easy way. And we start to understand exactly how this works. Uh, was my math off? Was it 3,600? Yeah. Um, but we look at that, we're like, OK, we got to look at this and understand it. And you can see what the going rate is. Some are 36, some are more. Um, so like this guy is 20x. This guy, 15, I think he was, he was like 36x. Um, so yeah, but you got to understand, hey, this is how it works. Now, are there some that are in that price range that are around that? Let's take a look. 513, that's got a long time to go. Um, this one here, 488. So 500 a month, 500 a month times a year would be six times three years would be about 18. So. There you go. That's the starting price. Um, so those ones that are that low, usually you don't find. Let's see if there's any. And again, you have to verify it too. 
Um, let's take a look. Monthly profit, let's do 100. Let's do 50 bucks to 120 bucks and see what's out there. So some of these, 67 a month, free, whatever, TV thing. Um, this one here, right? And a lot of them, it's like, okay, are they verified? Most of these are not. Audition, date, and place, that's an India site. Again, the verifiability of that's gonna be tough. Going, whatever this one is, 114. So you could do some of these again, what I would do is look at like, okay, so this one's making uh, 68 bucks, bestfoodscale.com. So let's see if it's got anything. Okay, so it, it's actually losing a lot of rankings there. Let's see, best food scale. Okay, so this is saying it's got some organic words, got some traffic. It, would it be a doable one? Yeah, I mean, is this traffic gonna convert? Probably not, I'm not even showing my screen. There we go, but there we go, right? So there we go, like that one there, I looked at it on uh, Flippa, and let's see, so we were looking at this here, we looked at the rankings, so it's pretty comparable rankings to the stuff that you're getting from me, although the traffic that you get from me the stuff that we're looking at is highly sellable. So where this is like, how do you measure stuff? How do you get stuff on the scale? Which again, that's gonna be a lot of AI content or a lot of um, AI is gonna take over a lot of that. But when we look at that at Flippa, right? So nine days left, it'll probably go for a couple thousand bucks. But when you look at something like that, how hard is it to make $67 with this versus with something like the scooter site? Right, and I'll tell you right now, based on what I've seen at auctions, this food one is gonna go for more than the scooter one, and the scooter one's gonna have content and all kinds of stuff, and the scooter one has traffic that's actually convertible, right? Like you sell a scooter, you get 500 bucks, 300 bucks, 200 bucks, or whatever. Okay, does that make sense to everyone? Very simple. So we start to look at that, we're like, there we go. Uh, let's see. There is my who's earning a million dollars a month. I don't, I don't know who you're talking about there. Um, let's see. Is there much more info in Blog Profit Network that you don't give away free in your videos? Yes. So let me tell you the benefit of Blog Profit Network. When you go to blogprofitnetwork.com, uh, this is what the forum looks like. Okay. So you go here and it's got all the trainings from the Tuesday calls. So literally tons and tons of trainings, tons and tons of trainings. You can go here and be like, oh, hey, let's learn this. Uh, we actually did a two and a half hour training on domain buying. I don't remember where it's at. I think it was like 2021, something like that. Uh, we are due to do another one and you can be there live for it. I think it was this one. Yeah, this one here, uh, two hour training on domains. And you can go through and watch all this stuff. But I'll tell you, the benefit of Blog Profit Network is being able to be on the Tuesday calls. Because if you go in there and you sign up and you're like, oh, hey, I'm gonna go on a Tuesday call, you can actually ask your question right here. So our next call is on August 1st, Tuesday. You could go here and, and ask your question. Now, you can also show up live and ask your question as well. Now, on these live trainings, even though this is live, there's a lot of stuff I can't do because I don't know what's on your sites. So I can't review your sites, right? It's, I don't know what I'm gonna see on your site. So we gotta be careful with that. Um, another thing is, is we can look at niches, we can get your reports, all kinds of stuff. So Blog Profit Network, I think, is well worth it. Um, and, and I think you're going to get a lot of value out of it. If you like my training and you like the ability to ask me questions every week, I think you're going to love Blog Profit Network. Um, I think it's got a lot of good stuff. Uh, let's see here. I'm pretty new to this. We answered that one. John says, how many articles do you recommend for ranking a domain? Well, you could have one article in rank if you have the right keyword, right? Plain and simple, you, you can do that. Um, all you need is one and there you go. Pretty cool. Uh, let's see, Life Hustle says Blog Profit Network benefit is the Tuesday call. You can get your work checked every Tuesday, exactly. How to get good quality content written at less price. Um, I use content at scale, which is pretty good. 
Uh, you can also use iWriter, hire writers. You can use a conglomeration of your own research and AI. I think that would work really, really well for you. Okay. Um, yes, the calls are three to five Eastern Standard Time on Tuesday. Okay. And Blog Profit Network is, I mean, you go in there and you tell me. It's our only refundable course. So you can go in there and be like, I don't like it. I want a refund. And I'll be like, OK, why? And then you tell me and you get a refund. Um, but you don't even have to tell me. I think there's a button in there you click, and it's pretty easy. But don't, I mean, go in it looking for what you want. Like, I find that most people that buy stuff based on the refund policy, actually, they decide they want to refund the minute they buy it. Right? They already know. They're like, oh, there you go. I spent five minutes in there, and this isn't for me. It's like, why isn't it for you? Didn't you want to make money online? Yeah, but whatever. And it's like, well, go in there, because it does take time and effort to answer your questions and help you. Um, and what I would ask is go in there with an open mind and go in there with questions about what you're working on specifically. Uh, Andy says, if you're on the fence about joining VPN, I would highly recommend it. Uh, Life Hustle says Blog Profit Network is awesome for those who have less money. Uh, or if you do have money, go for a high ticket edge. I agree. Boss says, hey, what are some tips on getting approved to an affiliate site? Only sites I get approved for are uh, bad products. I think there was a heart in the way, so I can't see what that says. Um, I would say call them. Most affiliate networks are fair if you call them and you, you ask them, you know, hey, what do I have to do to get approved? They want you to get sales. So they're not trying to hinder it. Uh, struggling to find a niche, how did you do it? I find niches either with keywords or domains that are available or go to Flippa, right? Like I know, okay, best food scale. If I wanna make $68 a month, I can go in that market and get some traffic and there we go. Or this one here, um, copy paste. Now again, I don't know if it's, it's certain, but we could go through and be like, oh, hey, here's some stuff that's, that's working. Or you know, go to ones that are like, hey, what do I want to make? I want to make $10,000 a month or $12,000 a month, OK? And I can go here and be like, OK, well, here's one for finest words, uh, general knowledge industry. OK, here's one for um, something there. Here's one for gaming. Let's do 20,000. We could do like seven to 20,000, right? And we could see what's out there and kind of reverse engineer what's going on. Uh, trending news, $9,000 a month. Okay, do I want to do news? Am I going to get 864,000 visits a month? It seems kind of difficult. How about uh, some of these other ones, right? And you could go through and see what there is and say, okay, maybe that'll work. Or use uh, GoDaddy Auctions. And I think I forgot to share my screen again, but there we go. Right, I could go in here and do um, trending news or whatever and see what's out there, see what's making money, 4,000 to 20,000, okay. Um, here's a hair one, okay, so this is good. This is what I like to see. So here's a hair one, hair motive. Okay, so can I take salon brush to this amount? This is my question, because I got salon brush, and salon brush does pretty good. Salonbrush.com, it's got backlinks, it's got everything ready to go. It's looking pretty good. So we go here, and we're like, OK, this ranks. Hair Logic brush reviews, all this stuff, OK? So if I take this, what would it take for me to get salon brush to the, the hair motive quality, right, or, or earnings? Because this one says it's verified. It's making 6500 bucks. Now, I don't got 300 grand to spend on it nor would I. I mean, maybe if that's what you're into, obviously vet it first. But I could go here and say, OK, well, what does he rank for? OK, OK, there we go. So all I got to do is make content around this stuff. And there you go. This, it's all non-competitive. I got a domain that's ready to go. How many of you guys are like, did you literally just show me the path to the kingdom? Yeah, and you can find other sites, right? You go out there and you're like, OK, um, long layered hair or rubber band hairstyles or whatever. Maybe you can find something about um, like different clippers or, or whatever it is. And you start to look that up and you're like, okay, um, let's see. Long choppy layered hair. 
perms, right? And you can go out there and find all the stuff uh, that will work. And there you go. It's not hard to do. This is all just hairstyle stuff. And what we can do is we're going to go for the gold. By going for the gold, this guy's got 212,000 people a month coming to the site. So 212,000 over 6,500. 212, 1, 2, 3, over 6,500. Oh, oh. Did I do that right? I think I need to do 6,500 over that. 6,500. There we go. Fun with math. So we got three cents a visitor. OK, how can I make more than three cents a visitor? All right, I'm going to do this over here and see if we can find like a hair care product or whatever. Beauty. Let's see, beauty. Boom. Let's try hair. And I'll bring this over in just a second. I just want to make sure that it's all friendly here. Yeah, so I could do hair. I like this. They have hair uh, stuff, hair labs, different shampoos, different things like that. Um, you can do hair care. Let's make sure it's OK. Yeah, so we got like hair care, trials, all kinds of stuff like that. Have healthier hair, right? Or, or we could do like. Um, samples. Oftentimes there's lots of samples. Let's do beauty samples. Because these people looking for haircut stuff, they, they basically want to be beautiful. That's what they want. Um, and we could do samples. Let's see. And you can see here sample beauty box, 280 per opt in, Valentine sample box, luxury. And you can see all the stuff. Uh, for samples and there's like makeup and beauty and hair care and all that stuff super simple right so if I have an offer like that 280 a lead say I get one out of 10 to fill it out 28 cents a click that's 10 times what they're making on that is that guaranteed no could I get one out of a hundred to click and fill that out probably there's three cents so now I just doubled the money Hey, Marcus, would you have separate sites if you're doing organic versus paid? Yes, and at bare minimum, I would have um, a, a subdomain or something like that. This is an uncomfortable step to take, especially if your relationship with money is anything like mine, but the absolute value of his consulting is there in uh, Blog Profit Network. I'm proof. Thanks for that, Chrissy. Uh, hi, Marcus. I hope you do well. Please, I'm from Morocco. What business model do you suggest for me? I can put effort into it. I like the affiliate business model. So again, I would say, you know, go out there and, um, and uh, get a domain, build it up, and don't look back. OK, any other questions, let me know. Uh, we've got, I think this has been good so far. I think uh, we've got a lot of questions answered, a lot of people uh, hopping in and everything like that. Can you suggest faceless content to sell Guru's course? Um, I like the idea of faceless content. Actually, a lot of people have seen the puppets that I have. Um, that's what these are for. So instead of doing like AI content, I'm just going to do a voiceover and I'll have like a puppet here and you know, you could make him talk or whatever. <laughs> Very fun. Um, and you can do that with a faceless YouTube channel and it works really well. Um, and that's something that anyone can do, right? You can have them buy products, you can have them do whatever. But again, the key is going to be get a domain that's good. Like if I had a puppet one talking about uh, salon stuff, like I could just, you know, fix his hair or something and talk about salon stuff and use that with salon brush. Um, but again, you want to focus on what people are searching for, why they're searching for it, and go down the list in a very simple way. Um, and if you do that, it's not hard to do. This business is not hard. Um, let's see, meditation and manifestation. Uh, so yeah, if you're going to use the Flippa one, but I will tell you, I buy meditation channel, uh, meditation domains all the time. That's one of the niches I always get because people always want them. Um, so I'm always buying those. But you know, you can go to Flippa or whatever and do like just reset the filters, meditation. 
You can see here's a face yoga. That's an interesting niche, face yoga. Okay, I didn't even know that was a thing. Uh, let's make sure it's good. We'll go over here and do face yoga. Yeah, so look at this face yoga stuff. That's actually really good. There's, a, there's an offer on ClickBank for double chins and face exercises. So this would be a good one. And then like, I mean, you can do puppets if you want. Like I could, I could get my puppet and be like, okay. I think this one looks closest to me, right? And I could take my puppet and be like, okay, well, you know, let's do the face exercises. Stretch your mouth, <laughs> right? Make it fun, make it easy, and there you go. Uh, pretty cool, and it's not hard to do. Uh, face yoga is literally the, okay. Um, but yeah, you look at that and it's like, there you go. Like, could you make a niche about this? Yeah, you got lots of stuff. I would go to ClickBank and other places and see if there's like, um, so what I would do is I would probably look at Offer Vault. Let's do that over here. Offer Vault. And we'll do face, face toner or something. Yeah, so like face creams. Um, face toners, yoga. I mean, there's lots of stuff. Masks, like like those things they 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 uh, put on when they go to bed. Stuff like that, um, like uh, herbal masks and stuff like that. Pretty cool. Um, and what you want to do is find one that that pays really really well. Um, very simple. Uh, let's see, CC, trying to get ranking on my emoji website created after your video. Not getting any. The domain we, was one of two available, not finding any affiliates. Well, are you getting traffic? I mean, you need to start with your content. Um, and that's what you got to do. Now, you're probably, I mean, the emoji site that I had cost, uh, I mean, this one was like 2000 bucks. So... Obviously, I'm going to get a lot more traffic a lot quicker, um, but I would focus on seeing where it's at. Now, if you're in Blog Profit Network, you can bring your domain to the call, and I will show you what to do. Um, pretty simple. Okay? Uh, Twitch tips for finding flip the market keywords. Yeah, flip the market keyword. We just did that on the face yoga one. I mean, that's pretty much what we're doing there. Like, you could do collagen and stuff like that, um, all kinds of things. Loving the studio. All right, thanks. It took a long time to get the lighting right here. It was such a pain to get the lighting right in this studio. Uh, one, because I don't know what I'm doing, and two, because you know we had to move the desk right here. I'm actually far away from the back. I was right in front of the back, which made it look terrible, uh, but we found that this actually works better, and I like it because I have a sit and stand desk now, uh, which helps me from sitting too long. Um, but yeah, I mean, could you do that? There's the face yoga site um, that could make some money. Here's a Bible versus site, stress reducing audio. Um, you can see kind of what's going on there. And then what I would do is I would use my spam my spamzilla and maybe do yoga or something like that under GoDaddy. And then let's see, I'll do this over here first. I actually, I bought a, you know what, let me see. I bought a yoga domain yesterday. GoDaddy auctions. Let me see. Yes, and you would have a YouTube for it as well. So let me see which one I bought yesterday. It was a yoga site. It was, yep, let's see, ended, yeah. This one, it was for yoga studio, yoga pole studio or something like that. So it was like yoga and pole dancing, um, which was pretty cool. And I was like, okay, yeah, this I can use. That I can definitely use that. That's a good niche. Um, will I be on camera on that one? Probably not. Um, I don't know how to do the yoga, but you get the idea. And if you paired that with the YouTube channel and you made it a big niche, it could work really, really well. Chrissy, if you have time, do you think you can look up a list of keywords I should be utilizing when I create content for the domestic violence domain? Um, I would say save that for the next Tuesday call, because, I mean, 
there's probably some sensitive info in there and I want to make sure it's you know on the up and up and everything like that before I share it. What other ways traffic methods do you use to drive traffic to your affiliate sites? We use um, TikTok, we use SEO, we use YouTube, Facebook. Uh, some people have used Twitter. I don't. I can't stand Twitter or X as it's called now. That was a dumb move. I just okay, whatever. Uh, but at any rate, you know, you look at the idea, and it's like there you go. Uh, is the H Ahrefs YouTube channel interpreting the data the same as Marcus does? I don't know. I know they have some good info. Their videos are very good on the Ahrefs channel. I don't know uh, if it's the same exact kind of thing. Okay. All right. So next round of questions. Get them ready. If you have questions and you want to ask me anything about making money online, put them in the box. I will be back in two minutes to answer your questions. Let's get some good ones. Type them in. Let's go for it. Oh, hi there. Don't worry. Marcus will be right back in just a few minutes. If you want to get a Lamborghini full of cash like me, make sure you pay attention to this important announcement. <laughs> All right, while we're taking a little break here, I wanted to let you know about blogprofitnetwork.com. If you've ever wanted help with affiliate marketing, over at blogprofitnetwork.com, you can sign up and get help each and every week. But that's not all. We're also going to give you blog plugins, recordings of every webinar we've had since we started Blog Profit Network, all kinds of tools and videos and help to get you making money online. And as if that's not enough, we're also giving you a free domain name from my own personal private vault. You can see here some of the estimated values according to GoDaddy from some of the domains that we gave away previously. There's a gigantic list in Blog Profit Network and you can claim a free domain as soon as you sign up. Plus, you're gonna get all kinds of help and tutorials including my custom plugins, Funnel Voodoo, Ad Profit Voodoo, Click Voodoo, Button Voodoo, Slide Voodoo, and more. And every Tuesday, we have a live call where you can ask questions, show me your sites, your niches, and get help on pretty much anything that has to do with making money online. And all of this is available for less than what it costs to get a cup of coffee each and every day. That's right. You can sign up now and get help for a fraction of what the other gurus are charging. Yes, this is the real deal. Just take a look at the members forum and see everything we have to offer from specials on domains to the Blog Profit Network training videos, the Voodoo plugins, blog themes and templates, special reports from my own keyword research, notes from my videos, the domain names I talked about earlier, and downloadable recordings of each and every training we've had on Tuesday. There's a ton of them, including topical videos like how to start blogging, buying domains for profit, setting up videos to make money with an automated YouTube channel, how to get SEO traffic, and a whole lot more. So if you're ready to get the help you need to profit online, check out, hop on over to blogprofitnetwork.com and sign up today. Whoa, that's some cool stuff you got there over at blogprofitnetwork.com. But, Marcus, hey. Marcus, where are you? Come on, hurry up, these people are waiting. Marcus, come on. All right, now back to our show. <laughs> oh, are we no sound? All right, there we go. Um, let's see here. So, uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. We should have sound now, and we'll answer these questions here. Okay. Are we working? Do we have sound now? Should have sound. Should be good. All right, cool. Um, Robert says it pays for Ahrefs, and there was a question by Noble. Um, Noble, if you want to ask your question again, a lot of people don't know this, but there's like five screens in front of me. There's a lot that I have to watch to do these trainings. Um, so if I miss your question, it's not on purpose. I just, I don't, I, I didn't see it. 
Um, and I apologize, but it, it's a lot that I have to look at. So doing these is very difficult, which is why we only do them once in a while. Okay, Robert says Ahrefs pays for itself, but you need to know how to drive a Lambo if you're going to have one in your garage. Life Hustle says VPN is best if you can attend the Tuesday call. Excellent. Uh, African Flight Star says if you buy an auction domain with traffic, are we legally allowed to initially rebuild the site using the same original content? That is a gray area. Um, you did not buy the content, you bought the domain. So some people do, some people don't. I do not. I make my own content, okay? Now let's see here. All right, let's see, next one. Uh, how to monetize a space art domain or outer space content in general. What I would do is I would probably make a YouTube channel with your space art and then maybe sell like blankets and stuff with it or, or prints or posters or whatever. Um, have screensavers, things like that. Um, that's what I would do. But I mean, if you had a good channel about space art, I, I think you could probably monetize it good and get a following um, and then just sell custom art or something like that, okay? All right, let's see what we got here. Jurgen says, uh, could you suggest your strategy if you had 500 to 1,000 to start from scratch? How would you divide that? I would get a good domain. Um, actually, right now, if you're a Blog Profit Network member, I am weeding out some of my old domains, and we have a sale on them. So I would join Blog Profit Network and check out that sale um, because we have some that are like 700 bucks with content. I think 800, 797 or something like that. Um, but you have to be a Blog Profit a Network person to get that. So that's what I would do. Um, and if you don't want to buy my stuff, just go get a good domain based on my teaching and, and use that. What are the best high ticket affiliates out there? I hear a lot of people say Regal Assets, but customer reviews are terrible. I want something ethical. What I would do is don't ask about high ticket, ask about what's going to make the most. Because high ticket is elusive. Okay, there's a lot of programs out there that pay ten to fifteen thousand dollars commission for a customer but again it's unethical some of it is unethical terrible stuff um, I choose not to promote that and what you want to do is you want to look at one number there's one number that matters more than anything to affiliate marketers and that is the EPC or earnings per click that means if I send a thousand people to an offer what am I gonna make so if I send a thousand people to a fifteen thousand dollar offer that costs 30,000 for the user, right? How many am I gonna get to sign up? All right, one, maybe, maybe. I mean, that's a pretty expensive offer. So that would be 150 EPC. Can I do better with a different offer, right? Maybe I could sell 100 different things that are 10 bucks or 100 bucks or whatever it is. And if you start to realize how the EPC works, then you realize that high ticket doesn't really have much to do with it. One of the high ticket offers that I promote pays $100, right? It's a web hosting offer, pays $100. My EPC on that is around $9 consistently. Why? Because it's an offer that matches my traffic. Now, some other people might get an EPC of 30 cents or 5 cents or more or less. Um, we have to understand that. So what I would say is forget about high ticket and focus on your niche because had i looked at this one of the most successful offers i ever ran in history started as an affiliate offer that paid me 70 cents a download 70 cents so is that high ticket no not even close that most marketers would laugh at that yet that made me over seven figures so we need to understand that it's not so much about high ticket it's about what fits our niche right and if like that traffic site we saw earlier that was getting uh, 200,000 visitors a month, if I can make six cents on them, that could be some serious cash or 10 cents or whatever. So it has to do with monetizing the traffic. I wouldn't just go and try to find traffic for a high ticket offer. I mean, you can, but again, it's gonna gravitate to br uh, break even like we showed in the example for pet insurance. All right, uh, let's see, other questions here? I don't know if I missed any, let's see. You can't copyright code, but you can copyright content. Be careful, okay? Travel bug, how do you determine 
how do you determine a good domain on Spamzilla if there aren't but a few available? Should we just wait till one comes up? Yeah, you want to watch and wait for the ones that you want. I will tell you, I would say that every other day to every third day, I find a zinger. So it just depends on what you want. Um, let's see here. And the way I find them is using the tab. Where'd spam till go? I'm going to use the tab for positions. I want to see which ones have rankings. There you go. Cool. Next question is $50 for a domain with 60 ranked keywords, but only has like 10 clicks a month. Is that good? What's the niche? Yeah, uh, Emil, follow up with that. Tell me what the niche is. Michael. Michael says, Michael doesn't say that. Michael says this. <laughs> there we go. Michael says, what are the metrics you pay most attention to in Spamzilla if a domain has mostly possessions, uh, positions? Al, I am part of Blog Profit Network. Do you have a good video that shows how to set up a blog that is up to date with the new plugins? We do. Um, I think it's check. It's a Saturday training that we had the replay of, and it'll it'll show all that. Marcus, any opinion on .ai domains? I mean, they're good for sellable, but they're new, so they're probably not going to have rankings. So if you're looking for rankings, no. If you're looking to resell and you get a good one. Sure, by all means, get it. Um, I wouldn't go hog wild on them, though. Robert, if you only had to pick one avenue for getting traffic, how would you rate Google Ads? It's going to have to do with your niche, right? So if I'm in the niche of like song lyrics, I might go YouTube. If I'm in the niche of like, you know, PDF reports, I might go to Google Ads or uh, Google free traffic. It's going to have to do with your niche, because some of them might be a one for some niche, but a five for others. Uh, again, that's why Blog Profit Network's good, because you can come in there and ask me, and I'll, I'll show you. Noble, I am not seeing your question. Are you, are you putting a domain name in? Yeah, because if you're putting a domain name in your question, it's probably automatically getting filtered out. So I'm not seeing it. Or, or maybe you have a bad word in there. That's probably the case. Uh, what is Simple Sites Anniversary Edition? Uh, it's the 10 year anniversary edition of the Simple Sites course. Does Blog Profit Network teach in a step by step format? Yes and no. Um, it is more about the forum and getting help than it is about step one, step two, step three. Uh, but it does have the step one, two, three in there, and we are re-recording uh, re stuff as well. So yeah, Noble, I'm guessing that you're probably putting a word that's getting filtered, or you're putting a domain name in there. That's why I'm not seeing your comment. Um, Twitch, question. When I'm trying to see a site that's for sales current backlinks on a Hrefs, it keeps showing not available. How are you doing it? So what you're going to do, um, this is in a, a Hrefs. I don't think it's in. Um, I don't think it's in SEMrush. I could be wrong, though. You're going to go to the calendar, and you can look at the rankings here. OK? So go to the calendar. You can look at the rankings. Backlinks, if they're not current, they don't exist. right? Like if, There is no calendar for backlinks, because if they're gone, they're gone. I mean, it might show some lost and seen. Um, and I guess it does show a history, but yeah. OK. Uh, what is the cheapest domain for sale in Blog Profit Network? Well, we give you a domain free in Blog Profit Network. So the cheapest domain in Blog Profit Network is free. Um, Life Hustles, Web2. OK, so that's OK. Noble. Let's see. We got Noble's question here. Let's see what we got. Marcus, I bought Fly East Coast. Is that a .com? Just type yes if it's a .com. On GoDaddy, came with 800 backlinks and a couple of rankings. I'm not sure if I go after flight keywords or something different. Uh, Fly East Coast. OK, so we'll wait to see if that's a .com.
looks like it probably is. Helicopter, helicopter. So I would probably, because helicopter tours probably pay a lot, I would probably keep it a helicopter tour site. Yeah. Even though Fly East Coast would work good for like commercial stuff, I would do, um, I would stick with the helicopter stuff. Uh, I mean, website. Oh yeah, this, the, the website is, so when you join Blog Profit Network, you will get a deal on whatever you want. So like, if you're like, hey, I want the PDF one, I'm a Blog Profit Network person. Yeah, we'll give you a little break on that. Um, at least we'll credit you for your Blog Profit subscription. So um, yeah. But yeah, the cheapest one, I think we have some that are like a hundred bucks or whatever. But the actual done sites, the cheapest you'll find them is usually around seven ninety seven. Okay. My question you were about to answer, web tools. Oh, okay, web tools advance my domain. Can I put content about tools like mortgage calculator? Uh, it depends, is that a dot com? Max, if you bought a domain but changed your mind on the niche, what would you do with the domain name? I'd probably sell it. I mean, if I'm not going to do anything with it, I probably wouldn't keep it. What is the work involved with the purchase of high ticket niches? So what you're going to get is a site like the dog allergy advisor one. Okay. Um, it's going to look like, I hope it loads here. Where did it go? Come on. Got too many windows open. Dog allergy advisor, duck advisor. Am I spelling it right? Let's do another one. So um, termite one, termite MD is, is a high ticket niche uh, primo domain that we sold. Um, so what you're gonna get is a site with content. Okay, the content is by piece. This one had like 50 with it because it was a premium one. Most of them are gonna have 12. Uh, some will have eight, some will have 10, just depends on the niche you get. Um, and how much it cost us for the domain and stuff like that. But what you're gonna get is this with content. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go through and you are gonna take the content, obviously fact check it, make sure it's good. Was AI written? Um, but it, we spend a lot for our AI content. Um, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna walk through, put the affiliate offers, build up the content, add some images, and kind of go through and watch your traffic. So when you watch your traffic, you want to go through and be like, okay, well, what can I do with this, right? What can I do with this termite traffic? How can I make this work in a super simple way, right? And we'll go in and look at the keywords and we're going to say, okay, can I do better? Like yesterday I found out she was ranking for a termite images one. Um, and I, I helped her make a content for that. She was on Blog Profit Network, so we just made it there. Oftentimes, we can help you with stuff. You can utilize some of the tools through me um, on Blog Profit Network. But with this one, what she's going to do is she's going to go in and say, okay, well, termites in concrete, how do I build this up to maybe a top 10 ranking instead of number 20? Not that hard to do. I mean, we talked about it yesterday. We're doing a challenge right now where um, someone said, yeah, I think I can do it in an hour. And I said, hey, if you do it in an hour, you'll get a prize on the next webinar and I'll, I'll pay you for the work and stuff like that. Um, so changing these is not that hard. So add some images, add some affiliate links, um, and we'll tell you the affiliate links to add. And if you show up every week, I'll say, oh, don't put it there, put it here and word it like this. Um, so your job is to go through and look at the content, build it up like this one, termite larvae, a lot of traffic on this one. If she can build this up and make it rank better, I think she can do really good. And there's her affiliate offer. She's got a, a paper call affiliate offer. So what you're going to do is build it up. You should be able to do it in like an hour a day, I think. Um, so pretty simple. Does the blog profit include the high ticket people too? Does the blog profit include? Well, if you get a high ticket niche, you get blog profit. But if you're a blog profit member, member you need to buy a high ticket niche if that's what you want. Okay, question, any tips on rank and rent websites? I don't do rank and rent, but I know a lot of people do. It's the same as rank and sell. Um, I would do local if that was the case. 
could you look up a way to help me see weight loss for women over 40 and give me some ideas, please? Well, I mean, I would just do weight loss over 40 in your keyword tool. Pretty simple, right? And then find the stuff to work. I would also look at YouTube. I think that's pretty good. Okay. If one buys a domain on auction and then rebuilds the site with new content, did, did the org domain owner come back and claim the domain saying he has the rights to the name even if not trademarked? If it's not trademarked, as far as I know, I'm not a lawyer, but as far as I know, he can't claim the domain. Like sometimes even trademarked ones are, are up for uh, debate. Uh, so we have to look at that. Um, let's see. My question you were about to answer, web tools advanced, put content about, you can. I mean, I would, I would look at what was on the domain and I would follow what was on it. Sean, if I buy the 1277 want Marcus to choose your niche market, how does that work? So that is our high ticket niche program. Um, you can find that by going to highticketniches.com. And when you get there, you will see this page here. Okay, and what it is, is it's our high ticket niche program. So you would sign up, fill all this out, sign up, and then there's gonna be a spot where you can tell us what you like. So you'd be like, oh, you know what? I'm an HVAC repairman and I like riding bicycles. What I'll do is I'll go through my names, I'll try to find one that fits. If I can, I'll come back and say, what do you think about this one? And here's the backlinks, here's where it works. And then you'll be like, hey, yeah, I want that one. We'll build it for you, we'll walk you through it, we'll give you the plan, and you'll get a year of support. Okay, we put content on it, we set them up nice according to everything that I have, how I build my site. So we'll set it up for you, and then you'll work with us with it for like a year, um, sometimes even more. We, we have an unadvertised thing where when you buy a high ticket niche, you're in the high ticket niche calls every Thursday morning, and you get those till I stop doing them. And we've been doing them for quite some time now. Um, so pretty simple, we just go through and make it work. And uh, yeah, so it'll be an area you're familiar with or you could just tell me to pick. A lot of people are like, Marcus, I don't care, pick me a good one. Um, and what I'll do is I'll go through the domains that I buy at auction. So like one of the ones we could use would be like the scooter one I bought today, right? That could fall under it. It might be a Primo one, I'd have to look at it. Um, but like Scooters or Us, that, that domain is worth more than you paid anyway. So I think it's a really good value. Um, and I think you'll find that unlike a lot of other stuff, I wanna give you something that you can use, something that's going to help you, something that, hey, if later down the road you decide you don't wanna do it anymore, maybe you could go sell it um, and hopefully get more. Again, not guaranteed, but you know, sites with content can be worth money um, and they work well when worked properly, right? So pretty simple stuff. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Do I still need Blog Profit Network? No, Sean, if you're gonna get a high ticket niche, you get a year of Blog Profit Network, so you don't need both. Yeah, it is included for a year. Mm -hmm. It's a good deal. Yeah, so um, yeah, you'll sign up and then Tina will give you the year link and then she'll make sure that uh, we go through the domains and everything like that. Um, it's a great value, I think, because um, you're getting content, you're getting the whole setup, which is pretty cool. Okay, let's see. I don't know if we got other questions on here while we were waiting. Got a couple. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I think I'll have to approve these. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, let's approve them here. Approve, approve, approve. There we go. Okay, so we got uh, Carolina is where it started. Carolina, would you send paid traffic to a website that is already ranking on Google? No, I would send it to a website that's not ranking. Um, reason being, you don't want to confuse it. Carolina, does it take a long time to rank a new website even with low keyword difficulty? No, if you get a backlink or a press release, it can rank instantly. Uh, is it possible that Google index a website, but you look for it on Google and it's not? No. Like if it's indexed, you will see it. It might not. So index and ranking are two different things. 
Um, we're going to look at index. Index. Let's see. Can we make this bold? I don't know. I think I can make this bold. I don't know if I can make it bold, but index versus rank. So index means uh, Google knows you exist. Okay, so you could be indexed. You go to Google, you type in site, colon, then put your website with the .com. It'll tell you if it's indexed. That means Google knows you exist. Rank means you type in a keyword, keyword, and you show up for the keyword. That's the difference. Um, so you can be indexed and not ranked, but chances are you'll be ranked for something, right? If you're indexed and not ranked and nothing is ranking, it could be an issue with your domain. Okay, uh, let's see. Always business. I have signed up for Blog Profit Network, but still don't have my domain name. Where is it to get the domain name? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the old Blog Profit Network forum, right like this. You're gonna go to um, let's see, you're going to go to uh, the bottom, free VPN domains. It should have like a little code or something. I don't know if the code's the same. Um, yeah, you'll, you'll get a code, and then you can go in there and look at the free domains. Uh, if VPN doesn't teach step-by-step, -step, how do we learn it? You ask. I mean, it is step-by-step. But that's not the main benefit of that course. Because step-by-step -step is elusive. Can I teach you step-by-step? -step? Yes and no. I mean, step-by-step -step for you and your niche might be different than someone else in their niche. So we can teach the strategies, but that's why we have a weekly call every week, because we want to make sure it keeps going. Question, would you have different subdomains for pest control termites for individual targeted? No, I would, I would make them. Uh, on the main domain. I would not do a subdomain. Because a subdomain is going to be looked at as a different domain. The backlinks will not follow. Advice on selling a course that I created on selling t-shirts fast with no in investment. YouTube. Do YouTube videos. It'd be perfect for it. Talk about print on demand with no investment. Sell a shirt in one day. Yeah, that's going to get some traffic. Uh, Sean, yes, Blog Profit Network is included for the first year. Yeah, Robert, I would say, I mean, if you want to do that, I've, I've done that in several niches. Uh, join Blog Profit Network. Show us your sales, page for your sales page for your course in Blog Profit Network, and I will walk you through and, and help it. Yeah, Chris, yeah, Chrissy, it is a year. If you get a high-ticket niche, you get Blog Profit Network for a year. All right. Okay. Cool. Thank you, Marcus. Q and A session was great. Join VPN and attend Tuesday call. It's awesome. All right. Cool, Sean. I think you'll love it. And um, yeah, make sure you get the little lock there. If you need the little lock there, just put an S here because sometimes, I don't know why our redirect's being funny there, but if you just put an S there, it'll lock it up for you. Okay, uh, Hamiz, uh, could you repeat the Amazon review for 50 products again? It's going to be with YouTube. It could be with YouTube, it could be with Google Search, it could be with TikTok, it could be with Pinterest, it could be with Facebook. Once you have the 50 products, make some content, get it out everywhere. Repurpose it, duplicate it, um, build, grow, don't stop, make it work. Um, super simple. Okay. All right. Any other questions? Let me know. I think we've got a lot of good stuff here. I know that the questions always come at the last minute. Is our sound working? Sound working. Yes. Uh, what's the address for Blog Profit Forum? If you're a Blog Profit mem member, you just log in and it'll take you right to the forum. How much time it takes stuff to rank with your Facebook group strategy? To rank in Google, um, it's going to depend. I mean, you can do backlinks and press releases 
to help it, but sometimes Facebook groups take a while. It just depends on how it gets picked up. Question, so for a pest control site, you'd target locations just by having different people for each location, or would you blanket target internationally? I would have separate ones for each location. But like for me, I would buy a domain like Orlando Termite Control or something that has backlinks. Like if I was going the local route, I would make separate local sites. That would be easier. All right. Cool deal. How many keyword rankings and how much traffic does the domain need to have to be worth 50 bucks? Well, I mean, a domain could be worth 50 bucks without backlinks, without rankings, and without traffic. But if you're looking for rankings, I mean, it's, it's, it's going to have to do with what you want. So that one that we talked about earlier, that I purchased earlier, was brightfutures.co. So you tell me. Brightfutures.co cost me $40 plus the fee, so it was around 50 or 60 bucks. This one is for Bright Futures, which is a scholarship. So, like, I think I could probably nail this one for scholarship stuff, which is expensive. Is that worth 50 bucks? How many of you guys think it's worth 50? Type 50 in the box if you think it's worth 50. Right, I definitely do, which is why I bought it for 50. Um, but that's something, you know, it's, it's up to you. What are you going to do with it? I think it's worth it. You know, it's, it's pretty on point. Can you get good domains for 50? Yeah, I think you can. Absolutely. All right. All right, guys, one more round of questions. We'll do a quick rapid fire round of questions after this commercial break. And uh, I'll be right back with you. Oh, hi there. Don't worry, Marcus will be right back in just a few minutes. If you want to get a Lamborghini full of cash like me, make sure you pay attention to this important announcement. <laughs> All right, while we're taking a little break here, I wanted to let you know about blogprofitnetwork.com. If you've ever wanted help with affiliate marketing, over at blogprofitnetwork.com, you can sign up and get help each and every week. But that's not all. We're also going to give you blog plugins, recordings of every webinar we've had since we started Blog Profit Network, all kinds of tools and videos and help to get you making money online. And as if that's not enough, we're also giving you a free domain name from my own personal private vault. You can see here some of the estimated values according to GoDaddy from some of the domains that we gave away previously. There's a gigantic list in Blog Profit Network and you can claim a free domain as soon as you sign up. Plus, you're going to get all kinds of help and tutorials, including my custom plugins, Funnel Voodoo, Ad Profit Voodoo, Click Voodoo, Button Voodoo, Slide Voodoo, and more. And every Tuesday, we have a live call where you can ask questions, show me your sites, your niches, and get help on pretty much anything that has to do with making money online. And all of this is available for less than what it costs to get a cup of coffee each and every day. That's right, you can sign up now and get help for a fraction of what the other gurus are charging. Yes, this is the real deal. Just take a look at the members forum and see everything we have to offer, from specials on domains, to the Blog Profit Network training videos, the Voodoo plugins, blog themes and templates, special reports from my own keyword research, notes from my videos, the domain names I talked about earlier, and downloadable recordings of each and every training we've had on Tuesday, there's a ton of them, including topical videos like how to start blogging, buying domains for profit, setting up videos to make money with an automated YouTube channel, how to get SEO traffic, and a whole lot more. So if you're ready to get the help you need to profit online, check out, hop on over to blogprofitnetwork.com and sign up today. Whoa. That's some cool stuff you got there over at blogprofitnetwork.com. But, Marcus, hey. Marcus, where are you? Come on, hurry up. These people are waiting. Marcus, come on. All right, 
Now back to our show. <laughs> All right, guys, a couple of last minute questions here, and then we'll get you guys rocking and rolling. Um, let's see here. We got uh, late to the party. Did you go over a step by step process to get your first sale with ClickBank or OfferVault? If not, what would that look like? Well, let's take a look here and I'll show you what it would look like. What I like to do is I like to start with a domain name. Is our audio still on? I believe so. Good. So what I like to do is I like to start with a domain name. So for example, the height maximizer domain that I got, which was a premium one for one of our blog profit uh, upgrade students, what we have is height maximizer linked to the growth and height products on um, ClickBank. It also linked to different things on OfferVault as we looked at earlier. So this one, if you wanted to get your path to the first sale, what we would do is look at the keywords that it ranked for and point to content about those. So we're going to go through and we are going to look at our keywords for that domain. Okay, so we'll go over here, a Ahrefs or whatever we're using, and we're gonna go height maximizer. Okay, and this is the same strategy um, the people I sold two different websites to last week did to get their first sale. Uh, one of them was a ClickBank sale, the other one, I'm not sure what it was. Uh, but over here on height maximizer, this is a domain that I got, and if you can't afford a domain, don't worry, this can be done, it just takes a little bit longer um, on a new one. But here we have like height supplement review, uh, grow taller, food that makes you grow taller. So foods that make you grow taller, we're ranking number 22 with AI content. Okay, so this AI content here is ranking, and I think we're 22. So our goal would be to boost that up a little bit. Let's see, where are we? Oh man, there we are, right there. Okay, so foods that make you grow taller. So all I would need to do is this keyword gets 1,700 searches a month. I am getting some traffic for it. What I would need to do is build that up to be a little bit better. I could do that by creating a chart, right? I could go to ChatGPT or whatever, and I can say create a chart of foods that make you grow taller and how they do it. Boom. So it'll create a chart, right, like this. Do, do, do. Now, please put them in a table, right? There we go. So now I can take this table and I can make it fancy. I could take this little table, I could put it on my blog, I can make a Pinterest, I can make a Facebook post, I can make all kinds of stuff about this. Right, foods that make you grow taller. And then what I would do is I would brand it, go to my website, okay? I'd put it on my website, so I'd put it on this page, right? And there you go, put some other images and things like that. And then I'm gonna put my affiliate offers on that page or post as it were. And then I get sales, right? And then I just go down the list of the other keywords I can make a YouTube video about it, point back at the, the page with the offers. I mean, it's not that hard. People just overcomplicate it and they quit. They like, go, oh, well, you know, I didn't get a sale the first minute I got my site, so it must not work. No, it does work. You just have to be slow and steady and, and, and win the race. But if you wanted to get your first one, that you could do that. Now, there was another question we had, which Johnny had to make $1,000 a week, like the title of this video, can you summarize the process? Yes, the process is going to be the same. So I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna look at keywords in my niche or keywords that my domain ranks for, and I'm gonna build this up. So in order to get to that amount, let's see here, the ClickBank offers over here, uh, let's see, ClickBank offers, Uh, taller. So the ClickBank offers here are uh, 29 bucks, 23 bucks. So pretty good offers, pretty on point. There's also some offer vault stuff. So if I wanted to do that, I would say, okay, so if I'm making uh, $30 a sale, okay, in order to make $1,000 a week, I would need 
30 sales or approximately four sales a day. Okay, so I need four people a day, which would mean I could probably do that with 400 clicks a day, or maybe if I'm good at it and it's a good offer, maybe even 100 clicks a day. So all I need to do to get to $1,000 a week is get between 100 and 400 clicks a day. With this type of domain, can I do that, right? Looking at this, could I do that? Right now, it is getting traffic, so like, I can see over on um, similar web, okay, this website is getting traffic. It's pretty on point, about a thousand visitors uh, a week. Okay, so a thousand visitors a week, that's about 10 sales a week. That would be uh, 230 a week. We're a fourth of the way there with crappy conversion rate and doing nothing, right? Is that guaranteed? Of course not. We need to go through and we need to do the work to make this happen. And we look at this and we're like, okay, can you get color overnight? How can I boost this up? Could I look at the volume and go for stuff like this? How to get taller? I'm number 76. I could do some work, build that thing up, and boom, there we go. And that, actually, I got this ranking by accident on my new, um, my new AI content I just put up. Right, so all we're gonna do is build that up. Now, if you wanted to do this quick, I could put some YouTube videos up about how to grow taller or foods that grow taller. I got the content here. All I got to do is make it work in a simple way. Um, and that's what we're going to do is step one, pick your niche. Step two, see, or step one, pick your niche either by keywords and buying a new domain or by looking at domains and finding stuff that's good. Step two, revamp the content or create new content based on the keywords and the way people search. Step three, add your affiliate offers where it makes sense. So if I have foods that make you grow taller, Right here before the table of contents, I could say, you know, read this book for tips and stretches that make you grow taller or whatever it is, right? I could go through and find that ClickBank offer and put the banner in an easy way. It's not that hard. And this thing, it ranked the day I put it up, like the day we put content up. If you guys want to see it, I think, um, let me see if I can find it here on my blog. Okay, and if you go to downloadmynotes.com, I will link to this uh, so that you can find it. Um, but on my blog, this is the webinar. It was on the 15th, right? And watch this. I'm going to show you. You guys want to see, like, Marcus knows what he's talking about. Watch this. The domain that I got was, where'd it go? The 15th, what was that, like 11 days ago? Something like that. Check this out. So on the 15th, Where'd it go? Oh, why is it up here? See, I told you, I got a bunch of screens here. Uh, on the 15th here, you could see Height Maximizer I bought 11 days ago. That was the 15th. It is ranking now. This is the video, the live, hey live call we did on Saturday, and this is the domain I used. And I actually built it. See, I, there it is there. I'm showing I bought it three hours ago. There's that domain. And I'm showing how I built it up and I'm actually, I built the content on this training. And that content I built on this training is ranking now. So like, go watch that training. I think you guys are gonna love it. I actually, we put it on Bluehost, we did the whole thing. Right, so very, very simple, very easy. Um, and that's something that you can make work in a really easy way. And do I think a niche like that could get to $1,000 uh, a week? Absolutely, not even a question. There's people that do that. Um, and it's not that hard to do. Uh, again, downloadmynotes.com if you want that video. Sean says, Bright Futures is a scholarship funded by the Florida Lottery. Yes, that's how I knew it because uh, my kids graduated a couple years ago and all they talked about is go get the Bright Futures scholarship. Um, here's another one. Do you have any backdoor keyword suggestions or methods for finding them for the resume building uh, study tips niche? Okay, so those are two niches. Um, but I would say watch Friday's video. Uh, Friday, I'm gonna do a video where um, I'm gonna show AI for keyword research. It's gonna be an amazing video. If you guys don't watch my content religiously, you need to come to the old church of Marcus because here we talk about money, making money, and how you're gonna get money, and I think you guys are gonna like it, uh, which is pretty cool. But yeah, um, using that, you need to separate your niches, and then what I would say is look at um, other people in your market 
that are getting results. Look at what the keywords they're going for. You know, don't copy, but look at multiple sites and see what's out there uh, so that you could do this in a very simple way. It's not hard to do. It doesn't take a lot of effort. You just have to stay the course. If you stay the course, you will get results, but nobody wants to stay the course. Okay, Lily Jane says, I gotta get rid of these here. I think we might have to move these over here. There we go. Lily Jane says, in your opinion, what would be the best niche for paying quickly or the best niche to get into? The best paying niche to get into has nothing to do with a niche. What you're asking about is traffic method. What is the fastest way to get traffic? If you nail that question in your niche, boom, there you go. But to say, oh, what's the best, highest paying niche, there isn't one, right? I mean, there, there really isn't one. Like, you could go sell 747 jets. That's going to pay you really well. You probably get like $2 million to sell one of those. But can you get traffic for it? And are you going to sell it online? Probably not. So again, I would watch this training again because that question is answered. Um, but it's in a different way. Okay, Patrick. Patrick says, so if I understand you can, so I under, if I understand you, you can take a high ranking keyword and buy a domain for that keyword, then build it out. Well, yes and no, but you're not gonna find that keyword. Like you could wait until a domain comes available for the keyword, or you could just start buying good domains that are available um, that you can use to make money. That's what I do. I'm just like, okay, I'm just gonna go for stuff that's available, make it happen, and bada bing, bada bang, there we go, okay? Does it scare you to have bears walking around in your backyard? That bear hasn't been here. I mean, he was fun when he was here. He used to come on our live streams and I'd walk out there and film him. Um, he didn't scare me. At first, I was a little afraid, but um, ever since we got a dog, he hasn't been around. Do you advise to stay out of niches that are really big like travel? No. No, there's lots of people who do travel. But just niche down. Don't do travel as a whole. Do travel um, in a specific area. Sun, in general, how do you simplify the teaching of copywriting for creating landing pages when copywriting courses are expensive? What you do is you watch my video um, a couple months ago, I had a video. It was about, it was a live training, and it was about AI content for sales. It was like one of these. I think it might be this one, I believe. This one we actually utilized, I believe it was this one where we utilized ChatGPT to actually create content based on Gary Halbert and stuff like that. It was actually pretty easy. What we would do is say, um, log in. Apparently we need to log in a bazillion times because it doesn't like us. Uh, but I would go through and do Grow Taller with Foods. Now, please write an article slash sales letter for a Grow Taller book in the style of Gary Halbert with a story, right? And it'll actually do that because it looks at Gary Halbert's stuff and it'll show, show a story. Um, but this is a way to do that if you can't afford copywriting courses. Um, I, I think I've bought one copywriting course in my career. The rest was stuff I watched on YouTube, um, art, audios I found. There's actually, there's art, audios you could find by Michael Fortin and Gary Halbert. There's like six hours of audios. Those are fantastic. Just Google Michael Fortin, Gary Halbert, MP3, you'll find them. Um, they're, in, they're fantastic. And there are resources like, um, there's a swipe file add one. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, Swiped.co has tons 
of old ads. And this is where you learn it. I learned marketing from magazine ads. That's where I ran my first ad. Um, watching old ads would work really well. Um, and you know, with ChatGPT, I could be like, okay, evaluate the Gary Halbert dollar ad sales letter and tell me the tactics used. What I'm going to do is I'm going to prompt AI for the tactics. Then I would say, now please take this sales page and make it in that style, right? And then I could take a sales page, whatever it is. Let me see if I can find something. Yeah, well, let's do Blog Profit Network. So blogprofitnetwork.com, I'll take my content from blogprofitnetwork.com. I right, like this. Boom. There we go. Now add a Gary Halbert type story of someone who struggled till they found this product. There you go. All right, so, so super simple. All right, let's take some other questions. Um, not sure if answered already, but what's a good way to improve keyword rankings? Have good content and watch your titles. Uh, let's see. This one here. My question is, should I create or buy an authority domain for hair niche only to post stuff about hair? Because I don't want to be buying different website about hair stuff. Yeah, if you're going to do that, get uh, salonbrush.com, which is one that we have available right here. Comes with content and everything. That would be a perfect one for you. And that's what we do with High Ticket Niches. We pair you with stuff that is going to be perfect. Because at any given time, I have about 4,000 domains. Um, 900 of them are in my GoDaddy auction one. So there's a lot of good stuff. Retro Grames, how do you CTA on your offers? Is it button voodoo? Yes, but that's more for multiple offers. If I'm doing one offer, I'm going to do a link. OK. If BPN doesn't teach step by step, how do we learn it? It does teach step by step just not in the typical way. Like I teach things the way I want you to learn them, not the way you think you should learn them. Because I, I've been doing this a long time and I know what helps. I want to get into the keto niche or a micro niche of it. Would you advise against it because it's your money, your life niche and very competitive? Um, I mean, a lot of people do keto niche. I don't see a problem with it. We do have a lot of people that rank in it, so it just depends. Next question, are there still toolbar offers available? Yes, uh, the, the Capital One Shopping is a, a very good one. Um, are there as many as were available in 2003? No, or 2008, I think, was their heyday? No, but are there some good ones? Yes. I never see your website with ads means Google AdSense. Yes, on my website, I don't use AdSense because I make more money on my own stuff. On some of my websites, I use AdSense. I've made uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars with AdSense. Um, so yeah, what do I use for screen recording? I use Camtasia. I use Camtasia 2021 because the 2022 glitches too much. Um, so if you're going to use it, use 2021. All right, so we got uh, I don't know, 15 minutes for questions, 10 minutes for questions, something like that. Um, we'll get a couple more and then go from there. But I hope you guys enjoy the three hour Q&A webinar. If you guys appreciated this, knowing how difficult it is to run the show here, you guys want to see what it looks like running the show? It's pretty crazy. Um, I don't know if I can move this camera. Let's see if I can. I think I can. Let's see here. So let's see. This is me. Right. This is what it looks like running it. So there's there's a Rocky over there, the background there. And this is all the stuff that runs these trainings. So I got that one there that's showing who's viewing. 
We've got that one up there that shows uh, the switcher. This is the one you guys see. This is my little table there with my light that shows up on my face. We got lights all over the place. And we have the long one where your comments are at. And then all kinds of stuff. But that's, that's basically how it works. And then we have a setup over here as well. That's the other desk I have set up with all the other stuff. Um, but very, very cool. It, it takes a lot to run these, so I appreciate your likes and your kind words and all that stuff, um, because these are not easy to do, um, not at all. But we like to do these for you so that you can see how the business works and how everything happens there. What are some free alternatives if you don't have Ahrefs? Use the, um, the Hoth. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Do I have a link for what? Okay. Do I need a certain amount of traffic to be eligible for AdSense? Yes. If you're doing credit repair, would you affiliate for credit card offers? Yeah, absolutely. Do you ride your bike to your studio house? I do. Yeah, usually. I haven't in like a week, but I do. Chrissy, what was the quote about perfection you said yesterday? Um, that is, uh, perfection is the enemy of excellence. We missed the bayou. I still have the bayou. It's still in my backyard. Um, I just I needed more space. I'm more productive here because I have more spaces to film, double the computers, um, all kinds of stuff. All right, guys. Well, um, I think... I think that's about it. Let's run Rocky again, and then uh, we'll call it a day. Uh, Legesti, I wish I could make a thousand dollars a month, but no, I can't join your group. Watch, watch my free stuff. There's tons of stuff here uh, that you could watch and 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 make work. So check out blogprofitnetwork.com if you want to get a high ticket niche. Check out highticketniches.com. Uh, if you guys got questions, stay subscribed. Smash the like button. If you guys dug this, let me know, and we'll go from there. Thanks, guys, and we'll see you soon.